Yep. Back again, mother lovers. What's going on? My name is Mice Diggy. You know where we're at right about now. Some shit you might not never know nothing about. I'm with my co-host right here, Dan DNA. What's going on, bruv? Good. You good? Yeah, yeah very good. You had good. a good week? Yeah. You getting it's prepared very for the stressful, um, but you know, trying to get my party gear ready. Yeah, you got your <laughs> you get your party gear ready, yeah. Yeah. Well you got planned for this big we got a big event coming up, man. Uh, I know I everyone out there is yeah. looking forward to it. You know what it is. It's all about that platinum jubilee, fam. You know what I mean? Man's <laughs> out here gonna rave it up like like I raved before, you know what I mean? I'm gonna put all my platinum on. Every bit of platinum jewelry I've got coming on. Everything. Yeah, every jewel every all bit your platinum of, bits. Platinum um nameplate. Man's gonna be out here just smearing coffee on their <laughs> silverware, like trying to make it look platinum. <laughs> <laughs> you come out look like them. Do 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 nah, man. Come on, man. It's Queen Jubilee, man. What are you not saying? <laughs> What's going on, man? Everyone ready for it? Shout out to all the common sensors out there, man. Big up all the crew in the chat room already. Psychedelic scientists, we see you. You're more. What's going on? Yes, Black Einstein. Big up my big bro. Shout out to Richard O. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> man came into the chat room and said, felt this was the right place to vent. Fuck the police. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, man. This is the place. This is the place. Right here with some shit you might not never know nothing about, man. And we're going to have a good one tonight, man. Of course, as we do each and every week. Shout out to the crew that were locked in last week. We had big cakes come through. Origami Gardens from the Origami Army. And he came and broke down... You know what I mean? Some of his journey um, along the way of um, like growing his own food, man. Growing his own um, fruit and veg. It was a very interesting chat, so check that out. Um, shout out to Tempo187, locked in. He said he asked if there's a te uh, part three of the £10 bag. There is. There's a part three of the original £10 bag um, from Louis Slippers and the Raw Dog Band. But now there's like a part one of the 10 pound bag presented by Farmer G, you know, produced by Farmer G. So it's a new series of the 10 pound bag. And from what he said, from when we were talking, he's got a part two and a part three coming up as well. So look out for that. But yeah, man, the 10 pound bag is out there. All the physicals um, have been sold out, but you can still get the digital from his band camp. So hit up Farmer G um, and shout out to him for coming through. Um, a few weeks ago, man. That was a good chat as well. Mm. Shout out to the Mask Detective UK. Definitely going to hit you up, bruv. Very interesting stuff you've been putting down there, the presentations. Um, shout out to Blade locked in, man. He said, evening, people. What? We got some legends locked in right now. UK legends for real, boy. Yes, a lot of love. Yeah, man. And tonight, I'm looking forward to this one, man. I ain't spoke to my brother in a minute. It's been a while. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people know him, man, because if you don't, he's definitely got some shit you might not never know nothing about. That's right. Say it with me, mother lovers. You might not never know nothing about. <laughs> That's the name of the show right here. We got my brother, homeboy Sam, man. What's going on, bruv? Live. Up, How's it going? Yo? Good, man. Live good. Direct, yeah, man. Yeah. Good to see you, man. Good to see you as well, man. Yes, hopefully we got to do it in person soon, man. But boy, it's been a minute. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to get back over there, you know, working on, <laughs> working on it. Yeah. Working on manifesting it, you know what I'm saying? But I see you're working hard, though, still. Putting out a lot of music, man, as always. Putting out, yeah, yeah. Putting out a lot of joints. But, you know, I like to say, 
not working hard, you know, making music instead, making art instead, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So the work, the streak continues, I like to say. Yeah. you're So you're on it every day, right? Writing rhymes? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I be writing a lot of rhymes pretty much most of the time, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Today, today, today I didn't write nothing, but I've been working with this little thing that I'm formulating on, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't get mind. the words yet. Yeah. I always wanted to ask you how you got your name, Homeboy Sandman. Like, I'm always interested in how rappers yeah. come up with their name. Uh, well, from it's one of the last things that survived with me from the time when I used to smoke a lot of weed, smoke weed all day. I always used to come up with mad different names for myself. <laughs> you know, I had one that was Lenny the Brown Thumb. I don't know even what that meant. I had <laughs> Buck Batista. What else we had? Teddy English, Teddy English. Teddy but English. then I had to come up with Homeboy Sam in my son. I was like, yo, this is it. This is it. And I just <laughs> stopped coming up with names that day. But I realized, uh, you know, a lot of times when I write a song or mm. a rhyme, I don't know what it means until after the fact. So I didn't really know what it meant. I just liked it. I was just drawn to it. But since then, I've discovered, you know, what it means and all that. You know? Yeah, no, nah, it's got a flow to it, though. That's the thing. Like, and it sticks. You know what I mean? Like when you say Homeboy well, Sam, man, they're like. Cause, yeah, yeah, it's memorable. You know what I mean? What's Nobody your gonna forget um, homeboy Sam, man. What happened some... to my man who was with us? I'm still here. I'm just doing yeah. some behind the scenes stuff. You don't want right. right. to. Yeah, I like wanna... your background. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You got all the fishes going on. Yeah, man. We know. get deep. We get deep on here, man. It's some shit yeah. you might not never know nothing <laughs> Very about. Very aquatic. Yeah. <laughs> we get deep on here, man. We like to have the open talk. Like the reason we started it was because obviously you know the whole lockdown thing, and it felt like they didn't want us to talk anymore. They wanted us to oh, cover yeah. up, and so. I was like, they nah, this, to cover up, yeah. yeah. I said, like, nah, this can't happen, man. Like, we need yeah, to. Yeah, I'm glad. Because people don't. Way to go. You know, people don't know what to think or, or what to say anymore. And that's not right, you know. Like, you're. Well, the, the thing that we link up on very much is the, the freedom of being able to, to, you know, being able to say what you want, especially yeah, yeah, with the yeah. music. Yeah, I've always appreciated that about you as a person and artist. And I do think that's one of the reasons why, why we built, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, that's one of the reasons why even to this day I still send people cock a doodle do, you know what I'm saying? Just send my boys <laughs> game and wavy bagels cock a doodle do the other oh, day. Shit. Um nice, man. <laughs> for, for 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 talking about, you know, things as you see them, you know what I mean? Even mm. if that's not the agreed upon narrative, you know? Exactly. And that was the thing. I felt like now nah, we so let's we, we got this space here, we got the studio. Like we were talking about earlier, you came to the studio that um, Dan had before, but now we're in a new spot and there's more space. So there's a room really where nice. we felt like, you know what, Let, let's try and do this then. Let's, let's try and flow a little podcast, get people together, talking, find out some shit you might not never know nothing <laughs> about. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah. I wanted to ask you about your nickname. Yeah, we, we like, me and Dan, you know what I mean? We're open about, you know, our embarrassing nickname that we had when we grew up. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Mine Dang. was... Well, what's yours? Was, don't laugh, yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm already laughing. Yeah, it's scream for cream. Scream for cream. Yeah, <laughs> like, scream for cream. Was that? Yeah, you, there was an advert. There was an advert back in the day on the TV, and it was like, "Oi, scream for cream." You know, you like it. Oi. Oh, okay. But the thing was, it was basically to do with me, you know, going play center and not knowing that I had to cream. My elbows and my knees and all that. Yeah, he's she was an ashy too. young man. Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, I was ashy. I was ashy. So I was screaming for cream. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's funny. Who come up with that? Yeah, you know, so I ain't even gonna pick them up. Children. They don't deserve. Yeah, they don't Horrible deserve. Children in school. They're bullies, man. I'm not. Meant, <laughs> I'm not meant to pick them up right now. You know what I mean? I had nightmares over that shit. I got over it though. I learned how to deal with the elbows. But Dan's. I'm glad you dealt with that trauma. Guess what his was. Um, shoot, I can't it, guess. It's I mean, rela- I it's know. relatable. It's relatable huh? to Ashy Elbows. It's an Ashy Elbow oriented one. It's Ashy, uh, Ashy similar. oriented. Dad, much more of a, know, much Ashy, more of a white Ashy, thing. Well, you have flows, Ashy ankles, Ashy flows Elbow. With Dan. Dandruff. What was it? Dandruff. Oh, <laughs> dang, how could I miss that? Dad, they called you Dandruff. <laughs> It's kind Actually, of funny. Yeah. You got some clever people over there. Mm. <laughs> Smart artists. Dan Druff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I why guess, they love you, know, you man. I, I don't. And 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 I try not to. I try not to say, you know, things that that'll hurt people's feelings anymore. But 
I definitely would have kept dandruff on my I definitely would have made a little note of that to, to bring around to anybody who I saw named Dan who had dandruff. But as of now, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it stop with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, but I I uh, I uh, I mean one thing because I was tall, they called me Jolly Green Giant, which isn't as good as any of yours. You know, I don't know Jolly if you guys Green ever Giant. had the, the corn and the Green peas. Giant. It was Jolly Green Green yeah. Giant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Which I always oh, thought oh, wasn't oh, really, oh. it didn't even, I mean, I'm not green. I mean, I'm tall. What's wrong with being tall anyway? I mean, yeah, it wasn't really, yeah, yeah. A, you know what I'm saying? That's, so it didn't, that's the first one that come to mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, not too bad. That's not too bad. You did, you what? Know, yeah, that's Jolly not as traumatic as what we had to, to go through. If I think of another one, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll come up with it, but. Green giant, you know, that's what I got so far. So how did you get started in this? Like, what, you know, what was the... You know, the moment where you're like, yo, I want to I wanna be a MC, super MC at that. Good looking out. Yo, I, um, for, I like your Amoeba, sh- your Amoeba shirt, Dan. Yeah, I, I yeah. rock with the Amoeba cats. My boy <laughs> Billy Jam is down with them heavy, and I've done in stores at Amoeba Berkeley and oh, shout to the whole Amoeba people. But, um, you know, I love, I love, I love rapping and rap, you know what I mean? Always loved it and all that. And, you know, I touched on earlier how I used to smoke a lot of weed. Um, so uh, you know the, the 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 initial the initial days of my creativity was really based in in weed and you know having herbal stimulation. Mm. Um, but Mind I loved it for it. many years and and always thought to myself, you know, if only I could do this when I was sober, this would, you know I would do this for a living. You know what I mean? And um, so you know when I when I when I sobered up and 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 realized I could still do it, that's really how it how it came into it. And 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 somebody recently asked me the other day i mean i think it's great to have something that i love so much that i want to do it all the time i want to mm. do it all day you know what i mean mm. um i think you know i, I didn't really so I, I so i just started doing it you know and, and i love music i know that the stuff i make is going to resonate with, with people because i know you know like i you know i know you know god is great i know god bless me with flavor so i know mm. as long as i you know uh, uh, tap in the flavor, mm-hmm. you know, people's going, you know, it's going to be recognition of it. And, uh, and I'm just, you know, I'm happy that, that God blessed me with something that I love so much that it ain't really, I don't really have much of a choice in the matter. You know what I mean? It's all mm-hmm. I'm a rapper, you know, mm-hmm. I'm glad I found out that I was before that. I didn't know, you know? So what was the stuff with um, you were uh, a teacher? And you I was decided a teacher to quit. high school Is- for a couple of years, you know, but after I graduated from school, um, I got into a, a multitude of different things, you know, um, just to generate revenue. And um, I became a high school teacher in Queens. I actually passed by the school in, in Long Island City the other day for the first time in a long time. Mm. Um, yeah, that was cool. I taught high school, you know, ninth to 10th grade. I'm still mad cool with a lot of my students. I still talk to Joselito a lot of the time. Uh, Julius was in my... A lot of them been in my videos. Mike been in videos. Oh, for real? You know, I saw Hector the other day. Yeah, we, you know, now they grown men. They grown young men. I run into Hector the other day. He was like, Delvalo. I was like, who? It's like, oh, snap, Hector? That's <laughs> big kid. But, um, but yeah, that was fun. You know, at that time, I was just a, I was just a kid myself. You know what I mean? Very, oh. uh, you know, had a lot of habits. You know what I mean? It wasn't even productive and a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, perspectives, you know, pretty immature at the time, you know what I mean? But um, but I did love the kids, you know, so I think they got that from me. And, and I think it just meant something just to see a a, a, a male of, a, you know, a, a similar skin tone to them just in the school. They didn't really see a lot of that, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, working with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. so the after, was it, <clears throat> was it kind of weird for them to see that their teacher was a rapper now? Ooh, well, the you... thing about it was, <clears throat> like, I was 22, 23, and the kids I was uh, teaching was 14 and 18. So I okay, had kids so that was went... 17, 18. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we would chop it up, and I would bring joints in, you know, like, not my joints, but I would bring in joints to introduce to them. Because they was, at the time I was teaching, I remember there was, you know, I remember who was big on the radio at the time, and I'd be like, let's check out this these records. So I'll put them on yeah, the yeah. records, you know, and they would be like, ah, whatever, this is whack. And then they'd be like, yo, when, what are you coming in with next week? Yeah, we yeah. want to hear good music, you know? Wow. All they need was some, all they need was some options, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's which is all people need. But, um, but, but, so, so they knew that I was, you know, some, and we, even though I taught math 
and uh, and I also taught history. I also taught a little bit of science, and I also taught a little bit of English because it was special ed. Just plug in wherever mm. they need me. So I would do a lot of writing stuff with them, and we would do creative stuff. You know what I mean? So they knew that I had like some creative tendencies like that. Mm. So um, you know, when I started rhyming, you know, nobody, none, 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 none of them really seemed surprised or nothing like that, because um, they know I, you know, they knew I was, you know, I was a horse of a different color. You know? Okay, okay. So you always. You know, always different from what people would expect in a way from back yeah, then. Yeah, I, I, I think, I think, uh, I mean, you know, not, you know, in my, in my earlier life, you know, I've really tried to adapt more and kind of be like other people, you know, to a degree, which I think is something it seemed like everybody go through. Like, I think everybody is really pretty, pretty strange and pretty unique, you know? Yeah. But I think uh, for a lot of us, you know, the journey to comfort with that and kind of, Break it from convention takes, you know, uh, varying varying degrees of time. You know what I mean? I'm grateful. You know, I come from a loving uh, family. My mother and father are still together to this day, which is mm, a major, that's wicked. you know, a major major blessing and yeah. and and a very uncommon thing. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Definitely. So, um, you know, I'm 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 real blessed. Early on, I started to have that. You know, I could be kind of strange, and that'll be okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's true though, isn't it? Yeah. Like, man, if you can't be different, what the hell? Like, we're allowed to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> like, I still say I to it's people... Great. I think it's so rewarded. You know, it's, it's a thing people are afraid of. Yeah. But I think there's so much genuine love. Like, you probably, you know, uh, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if you've experienced, you know, uh, similar experience in your artistry. It's just like, you know, they're, they're, there's a lot of fear of, being different, mm. saying different things, just doing things differently. Mm. But uh, if you have the courage to take the plunge, or I found that the love and the and the and the and the frequency from the people that appreciate what you do is so much mm. more authentic, so much stronger. Like Definitely. like the thing is, you know, say if there's a hundred people, I could be a certain way and it resonate with ninety of them. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But but if I'm really myself, maybe it only resonate with ten of them. But them ten folks will be my peoples. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And yeah. we we'll get to be ourselves around each other. We'll chop it up. We'll have fun. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a really important part as well. Is like connecting with people properly. You know, especially like let alone through the music, but in performance as well. Uh, you're and you're one of the guys that does that. You're not you're not like all right. I need a hype man to do this. What not? Or I'll stand here in the middle of the stage and just the bars will do enough. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and that, that part, that. where where did you start? Um, you know, uh, developing that part because I find with a lot of MCs, especially nowadays, where you, they don't get to hit the open mic as much. Do you know what right, I mean? Right. It's a lot harder to develop that. Yeah, I love. Then we can Then we find out you can't perform to a crowd. Talk to me now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, um, crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 uh, I, uh, you know, man. It's just I, another thing that I sometimes bring up. You know, I used to. I still got a mini hoop over here at my house. You know what I mean? Mm. And I like. I used to like to play basketball a lot. And previous to ramen, that was my. Um, you know, probably my primary. Uh, public, you know, performance thing mm. that I was doing. You know what I mean? And um, and you, you know, you could be a good basketball player and still have a bad game. You know what I mean? So I felt like I was good, but I still was nervous before the game. I still mm. was like, yeah. is this going to be, you know, like, and then once I start playing and I start to, okay, then I'll calm down. You know what I mean? Mm. But you know, um, that was what I was used to as far as going in front of people, you know, because I played a lot of basketball and, and, and was in front of people doing that. So that's what I was kind of used to. Of, oh, I'm going to be doing something and everybody's looking. Yeah, some know? level of performance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But but um, but my very first show, March 30th, 2007, um, wow. I felt the difference because I'm like, yo, what could go wrong on stage? I'm mm. not going to forget my bars. Mm. And these bars, I wrote them and I took time and I practiced them. So this is going to go amazing. Mm. Nothing can go wrong. You mm. know what I mean? Mind you, these people are here to see me anyway. I'm just up there being my, you know, like, so I've always loved, you know, I was talking to Decker, who's a, who's another rapper who just put out an album called Smoking Gun, which is 
Extraordinary, one of my favorite mm. records in a while. Mm. Uh, Decca, Smoking Gun. I'm on it. Nice. Uh, but, but, and we were talking about, you know, sharing different, you know, how, how, how it feels being on stage. And, um, and yeah, and I've talked to lots of different artists about that, but I, I'm just blessed for me. Nothing has really ever felt more natural than just being on stage. I mean, mm. you know, I'm kicking my romps, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> on stage, like, you know, and, 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 you know, like, I have confidence in my, I spend time with the ROM. You know what I mean? Yeah, you and me, yeah, yeah. we know about bars. You know what I'm saying? Dan, I don't know if you be rapping, but me and Maestro, we know about bars. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And if you spend time with the ROM, what could go wrong, B? So I love it up there. I don't need no this or that or smoke machine, pyrotechnics or whatever, <laughs> because there are people that are checking for that. Or, you know, is he going to pull a rabbit out of a hat? Mm-hmm. And they might be like, but for the cats that want to see somebody transmit, like I transmit, mm-hmm. you know? So for the cats that want to see somebody transmit, I'm there. I'm there to do it. Would you say you got in a zone then? You know, so you're not even thinking about, you know, yeah, whether yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, I rehearse my my. You know, I'm 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 not a quick memorizer. You know what I mean? It takes me a while to memorize songs. You know. Yeah. So. Um, but once I got it memorized, yeah, yeah, I love to just get into a free flowing energy. You know, we hit me and my, you know, depending who's DJ for me, Wavy Bagel's been DJing for me, big shout to him. Mm. DJ True Master DJ for me on a run that I did in March. Wow. Um, nice. But, 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 um, and I've had a, you know, Sosa was my DJ back in, you know, we'll have a, we'll yes, have a, got Sosa. you know, we'll have a structure and a layout. But once we get up there, you know, we can stick with it, we can deviate from it, whatever. Mm. Uh, yeah. I, I, so you don't get that because for me now, it's not necessarily a case of, you know, back in the day, it might have been, you're, oh, you're nervous. Like, nerves were more like, ah, oh, I want to get this right. I want to get this right. You know what I mean? You don't want to. Mm-hmm. Whereas now, it's like more of a, I don't know, like that you can't wait to get on sort of thing. Like the anticipation of getting on. You don't really want to wait around. You just want to do it because that's where you want to be. Do you know what I mean? And once you're up there, that's it. You're in that zone where nothing else is there. Do you know what I mean? And you're well, hearing yeah. the crowd. You're hearing well, the beat where you need to. That's it. You know yeah, what I mean? Absolutely. I feel you more on that too, because I these days I, I spend a lot. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time at the spot without rapping. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'll be arriving <laughs> pretty soon. But I haven't even sound checked in a hundred years. Like for real. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You wow. know, Game and Wavy were with me in Cleveland. We just did, and and True and Adi would like, you know, before that zone and Quelle was 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 like I, I've been lucky to have these tour mates that are like. We'll, we'll handle that for you. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, and know how I, I like the I mic. Mean. You know what I mean? Then I just show up, you know, 10 to 15 minutes before it's time, you know, get involved. But I like hanging out afterwards. I like building with people afterwards. But maybe that's because I've already gotten the, the you know, the energy out of me that you're yeah. talking about. Yeah. And it's hard to, after that, the unwinding yeah. phase where you got to come yeah. down from that buzz, you know what I mean? That high yeah. from being on stage. People don't understand, man. No. Yeah how intense that can be so you yeah, kind of yeah, need yeah, you need a absolutely. few hours to like yeah just unwind what so what have you so far because you said 2007 and i'm sure a lot of people will be surprised at that as well because of the, yeah, the, the level that you're at 2007 that's my that's my birthday what's been um some of your you know some highlights where you've been like wow i did that you know what i mean like these bars <laughs> i mean if, you know the 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 i wrote a song um last year and the title is just the dollar sign, you know. Um, I don't know what that, what the dollar sign is even called, but the title is just that, you know, that S with the slash. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that, it, you know, that was a high point for me creatively. I've, I've, um, I've spent a lot of time line by line, you know, talking about my feelings about money and, mm. you know, uh, uh, you know, dependence on it or my perspective on it. And, um, but I was never, you know, I was never able to really catch the frequency, you know, that, 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 that I was able to catch, um, you know, for whatever reason, what until mean, last year. You so, that, that? you know, that joint, I, I, I got a mixtape coming out called, um, called I Can't Sell These. Mm. And it's all joints, um, that are, that are, <laughs> you know, that I rhyme over, you know, I don't have none of the clearances. Yeah, Some yeah, joints yeah. I'm just, you know, I chopped up myself. This joint, the 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 money track, 
um, is actually over some some music from Last of the Mohicans. Y'all see Last of the Mohicans with mm. Daniel Day Lewis, mm. and you remember that. <laughs> that was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to fight the dude on the rock before he takes him out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When I right. watched it, I was like, "Yo, this this is great music," you know. And I I, I wanted to rhyme on it. Finally, rhymed on it. So uh, it's actually already up on my on my SoundCloud, but but uh. But you could peep the, you know, once that tape drops, that's one of that's one of my highlights. You know what I'm saying? You do a lot of stuff like that's quite brave. It's like MCs will be like, oh, I don't know if I could pull that off. You know what I mean? Like whether it be you rhyming over yourself whistling, or (laughs) yeah, just some some bad cha cha beat. Like (laughs) when that, I always wonder like when that happens. Does it happen as soon as you hear the beat? You're like, huh? Maybe I could try to do it, or does it take a while for it to kick in? Um, well, Are you what'll happen to it? sometimes actually, what'll happen a lot of times is I'll hear the thing yeah. and I'll be like, oh man, I want to do something with that, even though it's, you know, wildly unconventional. Yeah. But a lot of times it'll take um a while for the gestation to happen because because I also move within a, a comfort zone, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, uh 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 so I also, you know, I love rocking what people think of as you know, conventional boom bap or whatever. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like I rock anything though that I think is flavor. You know what I'm saying? I rock some without drums. I rock some with drums. I rock class. I rock whatever. Mm. Um, but when I do hear something that is really appealing to my ear, but particularly outside the box, sometimes it does take a while to tap into it. You know, like mm. with the with that money joint, it took years. I mean, it probably took like ten years to, to figure out how to rock that joint. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, I got another joint that I just rocked over, you know, last year or maybe the year before that. That's gonna be on this tape. Um, that was a uh, Paquito de Rivera. Um, hey, Paquito de Rivera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he's yeah. from Look, my favorite band, uh, Irakere. What happened? My favorite band, Irakere. He's uh, he's he used to be in that band from Cuba. Oh yeah, okay. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Work to that. Work to that. Man. <laughs> that's um, the pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, his pronunciation is way better than mine. <laughs> but, um, but uh, uh, he has a joint called Why Not. I don't know if you're up on a joint, but um, I was like, yo, somebody should just rhyme on this, and I thought that for years until. You know, a couple of years ago, I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, I'll rhyme on it. You know mm. what I mean? So it takes a while to just <clears throat> sometimes. Mm. Yeah, I always wondered that, man. Like, yeah, how like, is that just coming there and then? Because sometimes that happens where you hear a certain groove, hear a certain rhythm, and you're just like, ah, oh, this kind of flow would work on it. And then bam, it just starts, you know, on the yeah, spot. Yeah. But well, good, well, then I'm like, nah, man, there's no way he, he did that there, <laughs> then. <laughs> yeah, a lot but of them will take a while. You know, though. but sometimes the thing will just, you know, you you get a, you know, sometimes I get a I get a, a inspiration like that. You know, uh, 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 that'll just strike right there, and I'll just shut everything down for a day or two while I'm writing. And are you writing like um? You're already thinking about the video as you're doing it, like you're um, visualizing it. Now, what I actually do is is I uh after I've written some or after I've done a project, um or sometimes after a song. Mm. But but a lot of times, like you know, uh, like when I did the project with Quelle, "Don't Feed the Monster," when it was done, um, I went up. You know, we did a we did a lot of videos for that. That was probably that came out in 2020. But Angelito came out after that. We only did one video for, and there in spirit, we only did one video for. So the last project that I did up multiple videos for was was "Don't Feed the Monster," and Bravo. when I went up. I went up on the roof and was just on the roof and I was thinking about, you know, I'm going to do these videos. What do these songs make me think about in terms of videos? You know, I actually wound up doing one of the videos on the roof from being on the roof, thinking about, um, thinking about the videos. But, um, yeah, well, that <laughs> album, was a sad looking dude. <laughs> the album definitely, uh, that was powerful, man. Yeah. I was listening to that. I was listening to that recently. And, uh, it's like it took me back to around, obviously, you know, what was going on, the whole lockdown, this, that, and the third, what's going on, you know, all these questions. And, and you know, I was, I was kind of surprised at how quiet hip-hop seemed to be about the situation. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, coming growing up on what we've grown up on and more or less being warned about this, this sort of thing, yeah. I was surprised at how yeah. quiet people were. 
Uh, yeah. And so it was refreshing to hear, you know, you yourself saying something that that it resonated. But yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of people talked to me and they talked about hip hop and they talked about punk too, you know, as, mm. as genres. They were yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised stuff is going on and no and not only is hip hop quiet, but punk is quiet too, because punk is, you know, anti establishment and mm. you know, whatever, you know, like even bands, you know, I won't People make, you know, I respect people's choices, you know, what they want to do or say, but I did get a lot of feedback, um, you know, like that. But the truth is, mice, and then, you know, like, Caspi, Caspi, it's a, it's an interesting time, you know what I mean? Very, Cause, um, very. You know, because cause I think, I think, um, you know, people hear things differently. And what I mean is, you know, we, we in a time of open, open censorship. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I, I grew up when we, when we first linked up, I was like, yo, the radio is censorship. They don't play records that are good for people. They don't play records that are good for the soul. That's censorship. Yeah, but it wasn't like that. the radio was coming out saying, we're not playing records that are good for the soul. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to do that. You know, it wasn't like, but, but, you know, in the, in the last year, you know, uh, uh, YouTube has come out and saying, and said, you know, Instagram has come out mm-hmm. and said, we are not, going to spread any narratives that aren't this narrative about this or this mm-hmm. narrative about this like mm-hmm. we're going to dub that misinformation we're not going we are going to openly censor alternative perspectives mm-hmm. we're going to do that and and you have you know i remember and you have people not this this isn't this isn't this isn't upsetting anybody enough to 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 stop supporting these platforms. It's crazy, you know I mean? bro. It's uh, crazy. This, yeah. You know, it's very bizarre. Yeah. And 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 but the it, you know, the, I mean, I'm I'm 41 years old. So I remember when the internet came out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like and and you know, people were thinking this is going to be a great thing for information because mm-hmm. now information is going to be able to come out and you know, the truth is going to come out. Um but what I think has happened um, uh, and, and, you know, people felt empowered, you know, mm. um, but, uh, and actually now, uh, what's happened is, yeah, you, without going on a big rant, I think there were a lot of people in hip hop and all over that were giving their views on things that they on, you know, I think there's always people all over mm. giving their views on things that wasn't spoon fed to them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, but but the ability for these things to pick up momentum, like in the 60s, Malcolm X was on television, babe. you know mm. what I'm saying? Like television studios, you know, networks felt like, yo, we have to put Malcolm X on television to get ratings. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. They didn't realize they could put the three of us going like this. Mm. And get ratings. Yeah. They thought they had to put Malcolm X to get ratings. Mm. So they put Malcolm X. You know what I'm saying? They don't think they got to put Malcolm X to get ratings no more. Mm. They see that whatever they put is going to get ratings. So it's a different type of dissemination now. You know what I mean? Mm. So 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 hip hop, I know a bunch of cats that be out representing all the time. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, Represent for free thought, represent for independence, represent for equality, mm. and not represent for discrimination. Crazy discrimination was going on, is going on. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Everybody want to think of themselves as some freedom fighter who would have, I never would have been down with slavery. I never would have been down with, 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 uh, the Holocaust. The Holocaust. I never would have been down with segregation. But tell these people, yo, you better discriminate against this person or else I'm not going to let you talk. You better discriminate against these fans. Mm. You better discriminate against or else you're not going to get paid. Everybody like, oh, yeah, I think we'll get paid instead. That's what that money <laughs> record is about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing, isn't it? As, um, you know, people not, you know, people being upset, okay, with um, the shootings that are going on, you know, people getting shot up. But then... Um, they're okay with war. They're okay with soldiers going to war. Like, like, let's celebrate the soldiers that are going to war and killing people. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a fantastic uh, same uh, thing, uh, but yeah, that's a fantastic you know comparison analogy. You know, it reminds me so much of um, I've been I, 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 I've been reading a lot lately, and, mm, and um, same. <laughs> you know, I, I went back. What happened? 
Same man. We've had we've had some time to read, but <laughs> the last yeah, couple yeah, of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I read a lot in the last couple of years, man. Yeah. And I actually rewatched um the the, the Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy. Mm. And um and you know, this I read a lot of uh C. G. Jung, uh uh, you know, the the psychoanalyst and a lot of yeah, Jung. Jungian psychoanalysis yeah. like uh psychoanalysis work, you know, different stuff based around them. Yeah. But um and in those three movies, there's so much rich, like in part, there's so much stuff about the shadow and there's so much stuff about initiation and there's so much stuff about what you're talking about. In part two, when when uh, when when the Joker is talking with Harvey Dent in the hospital, mm. he's talking exactly what you're talking about. Everybody's cool with something as long as it's according to plan. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like you could send cats to war and they'll die, get blown up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that's part of the plan. So everybody looks at it a different way. You know what I mean? Or even if, you know, uh, uh, the Joker says if a gangbanger gets murdered, it's people, it's not a big deal because mm -hmm. it happens all the time. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? If mm -hmm. people die at war, it's it's looked at differently. But if you, you know, if there's a school shooting or he's talking about if I kill the mayor, everybody freaks out because mm -hmm. it's not part of the plan. It's not what people regard as normal. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so. Um, I guess it's perspective, people, right? Yeah, it's perspective. And it's also, you know, there's a lot of things going on right now that are not, they're not, they're not if everybody does a thing, it'll be considered normal, mm. you know? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, have yeah, yeah. crazy normalization. The, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. normal, but, but, but it's still crazy, psychotic yeah, cool. stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's still aggressive, who, who, it's still who, violent. Who would have thought you, wrapping the, your right. food in plastic was going to be like a thing, you know, 100 yeah. years ago? Like, oh, we wrap everything in plastic. Yeah. So right, it's got right, like right. chemicals all around it all the time. Yeah. Natural. Yeah, 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 yeah. True that. And the water bottles too plastic. Yeah, who'd have yeah. thought? Who'd have thought all these things? Yeah. You know, and or that you'd be like rubbing chemicals on every surface all the yeah. time yeah, before the you time. eat something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like They're cleaning all, everything with right. chemicals, bleaches, pink and, liquid, and all that. Yeah. Like, what the hell yeah, is this, yeah. man? But it's just because it's been a slow, gradual process that you know. And everybody just thinks of it as a normal thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So cats don't even sit there and think, is there a similarity between a dude going into a school and shooting 20 people and what goes on at war? Mm. Because that's not a that's not a discussion that's raised when they wake up first thing in the morning and look at their phone is to, 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 to get the the, uh, the 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 info on what they're going to be talking about. Yeah. Mm. Yo, I'm not I'm not even online. Babe. Yeah, I know. And I can tell <laughs> you what's online. From talking to three people that day, they're all gonna say the same thing. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy to me. To like it's straight them. upload. Like it's straight programming. It's like they call it programming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. I don't even got to be online. Yo, the cat smacked the other cat on TV. Mm. Yo, whatever. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's so bugged out. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. Yeah, you must you must be living life for real as well now. Now you're not online. It's a whole different. <laughs> I like it not online, oh, man. I do like it. There's more time to read. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all. I see you got the Twitter <laughs> mice, Diggy, Facebook mice, Diggy, Twitch mice, yeah, Diggy, D Live mice. Yeah, There's this one over here. You got them nah, all. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, Shout out to y'all. But um, I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I feel. You know, but everybody different. I mean, me, I have an addictive personality too. Mm. I do believe that that people are different and, and you know, like, uh, you know, that my lady's on it. And she don't be, it don't, you know, don't affect her the same way it affected me. So I guess people, mm. and the same, you know, I brought up smoking. Some people smoke some weed mm. and they won't smoke again for two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they'll smoke when they feel like, like me, if there was weed, I was smoking. It, you know what I mean? Mm. So, so the interaction with things also is, is, is babe. But me, I love not being online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you've done a smart thing as well. I like what you've done, man. Cause catching the emails, I mean, I guess that's the only way people can get hold of what, what you're doing, right? Or find out what you're doing weekly or... Well, I mean, these... Look, I mean, you know, if you go to Spotify to listen to record, you can follow me. And mm. you're always up on when I drop something on Spotify. Mm. I got the Patreon. I love Patreon. I don't know if y'all are up on Patreon. Mm. But, you know, it's basically people... If, if, if what you're doing resonates with people enough that they just want to basically subscribe to you mm -hmm. and just, you know... Then they can do that. Okay. And it'll, you know, on a monthly basis, they'll just support you that way. And you can hit them with whatever content you want to hit them with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But there's a lot of the email blasts that I do for anybody who want to be on it, just email homeboysamman at gmail.com. Let me know you want to be on it. Yeah, we'll put um, that. Up. That that is the most like 
they're, oh, I have this dropping or I have this dropping. But even for people who are not on that email list, you know, the Spotify or SoundCloud or Bandcamp will notify them when I have a drop. Okay. I mean, what I am is a musician. I'm not a, I mean, I love to talk and I love to build, but I mean, no, there's all types of easy ways to, to keep up on my music. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. See, like, look at Mice. Mice will blow the tree. He ain't, he ain't hooked on drugs like me. Me, I was different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can stop and start whenever I want. Yeah. Yeah. I stop. Now I start again. <laughs> Yo, all right. I think we're gonna be running out of time in it on the um on the uh what'd you call it? The zoom, zoom right? Yeah. Three minutes zoom. Someone's about to die. We got three minutes, yeah, because they they're charging now. So I guess we might have to step up and start paying these mother lovers, huh? Is that what got zoom, zoom charges now? Yeah, yeah. Zoom charges now, bro. <laughs> you get, you get, <laughs> Look at him <laughs> offline. Look at his <laughs> offline bubble lover. He's like, yo. <laughs> That's crazy. That's super funny. Crazy, I always thought it? Zoom was so funny. They call it Zoom. You go nowhere. Yeah. It came out when people were going nowhere. They called it Zoom. Zoom it? <laughs> like a marketing master stroke, right? It's bad, isn't it? And now they got cast where they. I don't know what it is, but I like what y'all are doing. How much mm. is it a month? I don't know about oh, it. Right? We'll, we'll sort it out, man. We, yeah, we should. I'll send y'all. Yeah, I, 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 I want to. Do- I want to. I want to send over two months worth. See, so I can keep zooming. Wow. Oh, What's it now? For real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, let me know what it is. I'll Venmo y'all. Then. I support. I support. See, we the don't show. even do because UK is different. We're not even tipping like that, so we don't get into the whole Venmo. I think people do it though, isn't it? Uh, yo, whatever it is, start, yeah. bank, well, uh, PayPal. I don't know what y'all uh, got. Bless, man. But yo, we should do it again, man. We got to do it again, bruv. Definitely. Yo, listen, good job. Yo, yo, Mike, I'm excited to hear your joints that I'm not up on. Likewise, yeah, man. Good I'm going to send you some. Yeah, you, you know too, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Peace and love to both of y'all, and and and, and uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Love, man. I'll send you some peace. bits, man. We'll speak soon, brother. Thanks right, for coming man, through, peace. man. Later. Yo, that's homeboy Sam, man, right there, man. Look in the comments. You can hit him up at gmail.com if you want to get on his um, mailing list. He does an email blast, so you get your updates from him. We're going to step it up a bit. You know what I mean? So we can do a proper Zoom. Yeah, you know I mean, but I didn't want to keep him too long anyway. I don't know he's got like, he's going to the beach or something like that, apparently. Oh, lucky. Lucky mother lover. You know what I mean? But yo, fire emojis or satins, you know what I mean? That was good. That was good. <laughs> good to good to catch up. Yeah, but definitely. We'll do it again as well. Yeah. Shout out to all the crew that were locked in. And please support his music, man. Just go to his band camp and there's a bunch of stuff on there. <coughs> but like I said, there's an album there, Don't Feed the Monster, that he was talking about. It's got a few um, videos out there. And this album, it will, and you go back to that energy that you felt. If you're, you know what I mean, you're awake. I know like the common senses in the in the chat room were, they were probably like, ah, oh, Steve, it's like, nah, sign it, right, sign it. And just, you know what I mean? going through whatever material they could whatever information they could to find out what the fuck was going on some of you know we might have all been on different paths among that we might have crossed paths as well might yeah. have been like oh maybe it's this and uh, uh. but you know what i mean you lot know this will take you back to that time to that <laughs> yeah man the, 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 you, you what what should we say like yeah t- nearly two years ago yeah where you're in the mix of it like yo You'd be talking them, about lockdown, this, that, and the third. Catching them lockdown feelings again. Yeah, man. And uh, okay. But it's quite refreshing to hear it. The way he drops a lot of stuff, a lot of gems in there. That, um, you know, it's like, yeah, take this as a wink. Of the eye. He even says it. So, uh, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's one of the people that out there that I really do look at and think like, wow, man, that's artistry right there. You know what I mean? There's quite a few MCs that, uh, are sick, but there's only a few that I would put in that alien. If we had to battle some next rap, you know what I mean, from some outer, some aliens from out of nowhere, some next dimension, we had to put MCs up. We talk about <laughs> that. You know what I mean? Who would you put up? I talk about like Black Thought. You know what I mean? It would have been like Pun, Big L, Black Thought, uh, Farrell Munch. You know what I mean? Who else? Throw some names up in there in the comments, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? You you got the obviously like the G raps and the canes and that. You know what I mean? But Sandman, he's up there, man. Homeboy Sandman's up there. It's like alien battles. We you, they, <laughs> they got to represent our our solar system. You know what I mean? Up against some next other rappers and that. 
I'm going to put it in the in the chat. Mm. And while you do that, I'm going to shout out the CMOS boss. Hit up the CMOSboss.co.uk, mother lovers, if you want to get your needs exactly what you need. In terms of sea vegetables, look, when we're talking about sea vegetables, we mean spirulina, wildcrafted dulse, bladderack. This is all wildcrafted, by the way. Irish moss. You got Irish moss season. Oh, sorry, Irish seasoning, which is the sea spice. It's banging. The real sea spaghetti as well. And you got wildcrafted wakame. Uh, you know, if I was to run through all the different vitamins and minerals that you get, it's better for me to break it down like this. It's like in, uh, you know, sea moss alone, you get about 98 of the um, 102 nutrients that you need for the body. That's powerful right there. Have you started on your gel? Have you? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it yeah, in your yeah. skin, man. Your skin's yeah. like looking smooth. We, yeah, we've we done it last weekend, yeah. Oof. Boiled it up. What yeah. do you think? Yeah. Decent? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, man. Decent stuff, definitely. Uh, so, you, you know, make yeah. sure you like, like do your... Yeah, it's, sorry. it's the cooking the cooking thing. Do you know, I, f I think we need to do a video. Mmm, that's a good idea. Yeah, we'll talk about this. We'll talk about this. All right, let's do on. this. We've got Rob in the building, man. Shout out to Rob J. You good? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've we'll got, do that. We'll I've do got, that. Yeah. I'll yeah, show yeah. you like, how to make yeah. how to make uh, CMOS Joe. Yeah, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll talk about that later. Yeah. All right, cool. So check this out, mother lovers. All right. Um, so you lot got to make sure um, you hit up the CMOS boss if you want to get any of your sea vegetables because they are organic, wildcrafted, and full of nutrients. You can also get Irish moss um, and bladder rack gel as well as just the Irish moss gel on its own. So, uh, you know, all different types of products. And, and they're, pff, man, the level that this shit takes you to, I'll tell you what, it's really good if you want to get into fasting. You know what I mean? Just get yourself, have yourself like a tea in the morning or in the afternoon even. Just wait till then. Bam, and that will help you on your journey through the fast. What I like about fasting is that, you know the point where you're like, oh, man, and your belly's like, yo, bro, help me out, no. Nah. And you're like, bruv, calm down, calm. You just take some deep breaths mm. or you got to smoke a zoot or something. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> but, yo, there's a point where, you, you know, you're fighting. You're like, man, I could eat something now. You look at the time, you're like, nah, man, let me just blast one more hour. Bam, three hours gone. You're like, wow, mm. you did it. You know what I mean? It's good for the body, man. Good for the soul. So if you're having this on your fast, you just have it in water and then it's not actually like breaking your fast really because no nah, because it's a juice it'll be like it's just a juice like it's just a tea a water, or yeah, yeah like yeah, a water yeah. Yeah. yeah you know so it's not yeah. necessarily breaking your fast it's actually aiding you because the point of your fast is to stop you from you know digesting and breaking down using your stomach acids and whatnot yeah and so therefore now your body that's a lot of work for your body you know yeah. when you think about breaking down food like some of the chunks that you lot be biting, you ain't chewing 12 times on the left, 12 times on the right. Yeah, I see you lot out there. You know what I mean? You gotta mm. be chewing a bit more. When you ain't, what? Well, there's no teeth down there. So now your stomach acid's gotta do the work. If it doesn't do the work, that's when shit gets stuck somewhere. Bam, what happens? Oh, I got this feeling, uh, I got indigestion, I got, mm. you know, you need a Pepto Bismol, <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> what did mm. people use? Like Tums and, yeah, man, all that. Rene. Rene, come on, man. Rene. You're just the bam man that own Rene. That's it. They own Rene for, for, like non stop. That's it. There's Rene, Rene. Yo, I need another. Yo, I've got. Like, you don't even know that the Rene's doing that. Where is it? It's not Rene. 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 Whatever, man. You know what I mean? Rene's you not shouldn't be messing with that shit. <laughs> yeah, man. It's been too long. That's just messy. Rene. Yeah, you not messing with the Rene, man. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I mean? Bruv, you got to drink some water. Like, do a fast. If you got indigestion, drink water and do a fast. You're clogged up. You're full <laughs> of shit. You're full <laughs> of shit. Yeah. Basically. So, yeah, you know, hitting the CMOS, that will help you out. And, you know, like I said, man, the nutrient level with this stuff is insane. So, hit them up, CMOS Boss, the CMOS Boss .co uk, And uh, once you get to the checkout... Enter in about 20 to get yourself 20% off any order. Mother lovers. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, right, hold on. Uh, hold on. What's that? I'm just trying to bring Rob in. <laughs> ah. We've got like a, Batman. We've got a special <laughs> Jubilee. Robbie. Special Jubilee guest. Jubilee. Yeah, man. Jubilee guest. Seeing as we're celebrating Jubilee, the Queen's Jubilee. Do you know what I mean? I do believe it's the Queen's Jubilee. <laughs> Um, so we'll celebrate it here. You, you and me. Yeah. Right. We'll have a little bank holiday bonanza. You can hear him, but I'm just I'm just <laughs> trying to sort out the... Where is he? Right. Yo. There you go. Uh, welcome, you. Rob. Thank you very much. Yes, man. Me. Welcome, Rob. Yeah. How are you doing, bruv? I'm good. I'm very good, yeah. Rob is a videographer extraordinaire. Yeah. The man behind the scenes, behind the lens. Yeah, you don't usually see me. No, nah, you don't. He, he always sees you, though. Yeah. He's probably edited something you lot before. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Doing something now. <laughs> Just rendering off. Just thinking about editing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you, he actually came up with the term editing. Editing, that was it. Which is great. <laughs> yeah. Because it is like that. When you're, when you're working video stuff, you yeah. try to work out, like, okay, how would this look? Yeah. Uh, if I go, uh, uh, then, uh, yeah. Well, it was, a, it was an editing. original term for to stop me and Dan go overshooting footage when me and Dan went out on the field and with you sometimes as yeah. well. But of course you used to just stop it, didn't we? And just go, no, that's enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> you can never have too, in, uh, too much. Yeah, man. you never like, have too much because you're shooting digital, but at the yeah. same time you were kind of like, no, no, someone's got to edit this. And head it came from that. Head it, that's it, boy. <laughs> yeah, I love that, man. <laughs> so, so, yeah. Well. So we've been, um, like we're saying, man, the Queen's Jubilee. We should we get into this investigation here? Yes. Because we, we've been trying to work out and trying to figure out this week in Mice Investigates. What would be the ideal way to celebrate Her Royal Highnesses <laughs> Platinum Jubilee? What would be the ideal way to celebrate Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee, fam? Know them way there, like, man's on a platinum thing, yeah? <laughs> She's like... Boy, man's on a platinum thing. <laughs> Mam's on a platinum thing. Mam's <laughs> on a platinum thing. So, you know what I mean? Platinum Jubilee, yeah? What does that mean? That means, okay, we got to celebrate the fact that you've been crowned. Yeah. 70 years ago, I guess. So, you know, that's why we're here doing a podcast. We thought this is the best way to celebrate. So, you know, anyone out there that's like, you're, you know, you're hating against people celebrating the Queen's um, Jubilee, by the way. Anyone who's upset about this, yeah? Just let you that, <laughs> know that now. <laughs> that's some shit you might not have never known nothing about. <laughs> and um, we're, we're trying to work out how should people celebrate it, really? Like, what, what, are you, what are you meant to do? Like, we've never had to do this before. You know, for a lot of us, this is a... No. I think it's a first for anyone. In for the, anyone, in, right? I, yeah. I think she's the oldest Queen. Wow, she's the oldest she queen. She, yeah, yeah I longest think so. reign, I think. Now, isn't yeah, it? I think so. Yeah, I don't know if longest I don't reign, think, I think Victoria was longer than this. Yeah, don't know. No, no, I'm gonna check now. But the um, you could always go to a lot of people are going to Manchester Airport because that looks quite nice this time of year. <laughs> just, <laughs> to queue up, just to queue up and not get on flights by the looks of it. All oh, right. Yeah, apparently it's, it's more popular than Devon. What, there's more people in, in Manchester Airport, Airport at the moment than, yeah. than Devon. <laughs> is that for real? <laughs> what, is fl it? Nothing's flying out. Nothing's flying. Oh, why? What's well, happening? Most airports. Yeah. I don't like. L lack of staff, yeah. I meant to fly out on um, Friday. Oof. You might have died by then. You never know. Jesus. <clears throat> yeah, so Queen Victoria was 1837 to 1901. So, hmm? 18, so that's... What was she? 37, 1837 yeah, so. to 1901. So, 1907. So, 63. 64 years. Yeah. So, I mean, this one's. Wow. Smashed it. Wow. Smashed it. <laughs> this one smashed it. She <laughs> smashed it. She went platinum, bro. Platinum, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, well, it must be like silver, gold, platinum. Diamond. What happens after platinum? It was oh, diamond, diamond before, wasn't it? Yeah. Diamond was. Diamond Jubilee. 60, maybe. Yeah. I think Diamond was 60, yeah. But di Platinum's more associated with records, isn't it? Yeah. She's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she's what? Are they saying... Is she gonna get so like they're putting those... Platinum above Diamond then? Yeah. In terms of value? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a Platinum selling album. Yeah. 
I'll never, I guess I'm do you get diamonds I don't think you do don't diamond you? yeah you do what do diamond you? sales people, yeah people go diamond man like Shaggy yeah. went diamond bro he went diamond yeah <laughs> so Shaggy went diamond oh, 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 oh. yeah you laughing bro my man went diamond wow Shaggy of all yeah. people bro that's it what's next all you budding artists out there you better get your Shaggy on bro if you're trying to go does that mean the Queen gets one of those like frames ones you plaque. get in his little yeah. record studios. Picture of herself. Yeah. The Royal, Paris, the Royal Paris picture framed in a wow. picture frame. That's, yeah, that's kind of mad, isn't it? But yeah. anyway, so we, we decided to get on an investigation and find out what mm. would people be doing out there during this um, great, wonderful festivity that we've never known some shit about <laughs> at all, boy. <laughs> but before I say out to uh, Function, Function, I should say, he says, I'll be celebrating the same way any of them celebrate any of my achievements and milestones. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm. <coughs> Shout out to DJ Lock, Lock in the building as well. My man said, a very large bonfire and fireworks party followed by a dividing of wealth celebration ceremony. Yeah, you're damn right, boy. Shout out to Sophie T. McCrony. She says, having her entire family moved onto a council estate in Merthyr Tidfil <laughs> and Buckingham Palace being turned into new homes for people who need them. Bam. Mm. All right. Steve Horse says, I get a day off work and I probably sit and get uh, baked all day and walk my hound. <laughs> uh, all right, check Killer. MC Killer says, change country name to Republic of Invasion. <laughs> mm. What a way to celebrate. Yeah, it's interesting that people have planned things for months and then some people are just, oh, it's a day off. <laughs> yeah, we got two days in. off, innit? Yeah, it's two days. So. Why is it two days? I don't get the whole, like, just, em- uh, they might as well have thrown in the Monday as well then. I would have thought so, yeah. I would have thought you'd give you the whole weekend. Especially yeah, if they're meant to be, yeah. but especially the party's meant to be on Sunday. The official sort of bands and is that yeah? Is it that yeah? I'll yeah. Oh, what, that. So there's a march and all that. There's going to be yeah. There's going to be a parade and all sorts of that and the balcony and the with jets flying jets over. Jets flying. Uh, but and, apparently, um, yeah, we've got to figure out that Dan, Dan was saying like, this, <laughs> that might be Sunday. <laughs> Sunday flying. seems quite. Seems Sunday seems like a long time to cram it all in when you've had four days to do it. Yeah, yeah, but you know, is they got to go out of a bang. Yeah, you know and. I mean? um they got to give you the memorable bits last. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Brian May from Queen. Standing oh, is he doing a Buckingham, Buckingham Palace, Palace again? Doing that was so popular the first time. So. <laughs> so she must have loved that the first time round. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what she's asked for. Herself, yeah, that's, what I'm, that's yeah. what I'm wondering. Is there someone whispering in her ear? Mom, you know you loved how Brian May stood up there yeah. last time. Did I? Yeah. Yeah. So... Um, Early morning rehearsals for Gold Coach that Queen used at Coronation. Uh, I want to, I'm just trying to find out. Is there an itinerary? Yeah, there must yeah, be, man. Yeah, 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 there must be, yeah, Jubilee. The Queen's Jubilee <laughs> itinerary. Not that she's got much say in it, I imagine. Shout to you more. She says, welcoming the intergalactic brethren and sisters, so they can tell us for sure <laughs> that the royals are lizards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yo, shout to Bavin. He said, celebrate a step closer to the end of the monarchy. Ho, 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 ho. <coughs> All right, so there you go, stripping the colour. That's the... Uh, Thursday, 2nd of June is going to be... Ooh, 2nd of June, 2nd of June. Second of June. Oh, what colour are they wearing? Oh, I'm, I'm, I've got to wear my colours as well. They've got the um, yeah. red arrows. Got to wear They're them. down at the bottom there. There will be an impressive fly past. Oh, to coincide with the royal family's balcony appearance. They better, <coughs> get, they better get Concord out. Yeah. Yeah, good old Concord. Better pull up pull up Concord from the old archives. <laughs> right, and then Platinum Jubilee Beacons, United yeah. Kingdom's long tradition, going back, what, at least to 2012. <laughs> <laughs> the Olympics. Oh, no, it's Millennium. I think it's the yeah. Millennium. Wow. millennium. Yeah. The, the long yeah. tradition. 22 Jeez. year tradition of writing of lighting the beacons. Um, they're the ones out of Lord of the Rings, aren't they? When they're, a beacon, yeah. if only there was the ones out of Lord of the Rings <laughs> when they have trouble. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Pass if it only on. we lit the beacons, right, look at them. some look trees at them. came and fucking saved us. <laughs> yeah. some eagles. 
Um, a beacon um. chain, once used as a tool for communication, has now become a symbol of unity across towns, borders, countries, continents, and is often the central point of focus for any outdoor gathering or celebration. Oh, so they lit them for Victoria's <coughs> Diamond Jubilee as well. Right. And the 90th birthday. The principal beacon involving the tree of trees, mm. a 21 meter high tree constructed of 350 smaller trees. Ooh, Wonder what they mean. 350. 21 meters high, 21. 350 smaller trees. Three sevens. Hmm. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> will take place at 9 p.m. This is still the Thursday, right? 9 p.m. I Look at that. So. Nine. Oh, yeah, huh? look, that's still the Thursday. Yeah, that's all Thursday, yeah. Friday the 3rd. Jesus. Horse, Friday the 3rd, she's going to horse racing. <laughs> the horses. <laughs> right, wait, did everyone, has everyone written that down there? Greyhound, what we, what greyhound we track. Yeah, we got all that. You've got to set fire to something Thursday night. The greyhound track was booked. Nine o'clock, yeah. <laughs> she was going to go to the greyhounds, yeah. but she's decided. <laughs> she go to the dogs, but now she's going to the horses. Uh, that's right. Well, that's so, it for that day. That's, that's oh, not a Friday, busy day. That's Thanksgiving. Okay, that's just Thanksgiving. For the they're Queen's gonna ring, reign. They're going to ring the bell at St. Paul's, the largest church bell in the country. Yeah. Ring these bells, baby. And then Saturday the 4th, the Derby at Epsom Downs. They're going in. They're going in. Yeah, she's going to go. They're home. going in. Saturday. Jeez. She's going to go and put a bit of money on the for a GG. Epsom Downs. And then the Platinum Party. So the party's Saturday. Prat uh, okay. Hosted wow. by Kirsty Young and Roman Kemp. Roman <laughs> Kemp. Uh, and that's going to be broadcast on who, uh, Thingy Kemp's son from um, what, Spandau Ruskin? Ballet. Oh, what? oh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and and Makes one sense, of one it? of Pepsi and uh, Pepsi Shirley's is yeah. Shirley as well Shirley, from Pepsi yeah. and Shirley. It's their yeah. kid, yeah. How the fuck do you know this shit, man? I don't know. I don't know honestly. I don't know how I know that. Pepsi and Shirley. Uh, on BBC. Yeah, it's going to be on course. iPlayer and of course, the BBC If you're going to do it, you'll do it on your own network, isn't it? <laughs> where, <laughs> like, where else are you going to stream the shit? I'm going to stream my party. Look, yeah. she's on some Diddy shit. She's talking about Platinum Party. You know that Diddy? Yeah, we're going to, uh -huh. yeah, we're going to throw a Platinum Party. So bam, she's like, I'm, where are you going to throw the party? Where's we? No, nah, man, I'm streaming it on my shit. Yeah, what are you talking streaming about, it, bro? yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. And she'll be on Catch-Up. Yeah, she's going to link, she's going to link, uh, she's going to uh, do the Platinum Button yeah. that starts on that day. The, not Red Button, the Platinum Button. Platinum Button. Jeez. She's launching it that day. That Platinum Button Plus One. Yeah, Platinum Button Plus One. <laughs> she used to tour, like, she's got to go, like, all across her... Every you know, country. Yeah, like, she can't just pull She's got to do a Santa Claus. Yeah, just like try and visit every country that she that she's <coughs> every visit every street party. Yeah, Philly as fuck One out day. here. It's like eighty days of that bitch, bro. <laughs> 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 That's your shit, man. Your shit. Go look at your shit before the, <laughs> before the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you own it. You might as well. And then <laughs> crazy, bro. Crazy. And then the it doesn't say who's 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 at the celebration on Saturday. Oh, Saturday's musical tributes. Oh, there is a night. It's a Saturday Full night. Full lineup so act tributes. will be announced on the BBC. Yeah, see, they don't want to put it out there. You ask me for guest list, like you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, they don't, they don't want to put it out yeah. there for the artists because boy, yeah. that's it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> Controversial list. <laughs> 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 also, yeah, there is there is that. Isn't there? Yeah, yeah, you man. never know who's going to be cancelled by the time it happens. Yeah. <laughs> it got three yeah, days. Yeah, it got man. three <laughs> days, and look, behold, it's on a bank holiday. You get cancelled. <laughs> no. Gigs, boy. It's just three days late Eight for someone. February, yeah. Westwood Rona, on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> red, red tested positive, can't do the gig, man. He's fuming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Westwood's <laughs> West was just going to sneak in there, boy. Damn. Made it, man. <laughs> Couldn't miss this for nothing, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Got my platinum suit on and everything. <laughs> Sunday, <laughs> Sunday's the street parties. <laughs> the Big Jubilee Lunch. So over <coughs> 60,000 yeah. people have registered to host Big Jubilee Lunches on the Platinum Celebration Weekend. Look at that. Events that's, that's... ranging from world record attempts for the longest street party to back garden barbecues wow. and everything in between. Have you registered okay. your barbecue? 
Well, you, you got to register your barbecue now. <laughs> well, apparently. <laughs> He's got a license for 60, it. 60,000 people have registered everything from street parties to back garden barbecue. Six. 60,000, eh? I'd love, no, 60,000 I'd love again. to know if they're going around stopping people who haven't registered their barbecue. Like the, yeah. Like the, um, like the lockdown measures. Yeah, yeah, have you yeah. got a barbecue licence? <laughs> barbecue licence. Yes, Robbie Love says, if we were battling aliens, I think Getz would take a few out. Yeah, Getz would be sick as well, boy. That's another man. Definitely. Definitely, boy. Look at that. It's the picture as well. That's what's cracking me up, man. Yeah. They're saying like this picture of this street party. So this is how they want people to look. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Celebrating. <laughs> Yo, this is this nuts. Is really it goes back to what Sam was saying, man. How, like, how, you know, the way people view things. Now, like even, you know, and I know we all have our, there's things that we like to watch and whatnot, but like the football thing now, I'm just like, oh man. It's crazy. Like, you just look at people like, wow, you, you're you like heavily into this, though. Yeah. Like, I get watching the game and whatnot, but the whole like back and forth arguing about teams and not. And I'm yeah. just like, wow. Yeah. It's deep, man. It's a whole, um, there's like a a theme going on, you know? There's like a drama and there's, you know, there's different elements to it that have people just drawn in, like looking at. This whole situation, oh, what's he, what's going on with him now? No, he turned up and then said to the, you know, yeah, yeah. like, damn, boy. Um, yeah, but America's crazy. big on that as well. Like, you see that there's always a narrative with all um, different um, sort of, um, you know, major um, players and whatnot. Yeah. And their teammates and this, that, and the third. It's crazy, man. Crazy world, bruv. But yeah, what else? We're still on this Just investigation. Just try and get this... Um... Okay. Yeah, so it looks like the the balcony thing's tomorrow then. Uh, balcony. Saturday. Saturday, sorry. Was the oh, balcony. the balcony. No, what the... the balcony picture everyone wants. Oh, right. We've had what's oh, Harry, Harry what and Meghan tomorrow? over. Yeah, that's why everyone's come over, right? Well, oh, so... it's ha Harry and Meghan are over the, yeah, as well. They're, they're wow. Really, they're allowed on the balcony, but Andrew Drop. isn't. They're not. <clears throat> and no Andrew. And no Andrew, but they're allowed Harry and Meghan. No Andrew on the balcony. Oh, sorry. the drama continues. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. You see Harry just like poke his head out last minute. I'm um, not Harry, Andrew, sorry. Yeah. They're all, Ruining they're all it. the same, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, come and ruin the picture. I was like, yeah. Yeah, you lot can't keep me out of this, man. It's my mum. <laughs> it's my mother's jubilee. Platinum at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Platinum. Boy, platinum you know. It's going to be uh, interesting. But shout out to um, A-Kit DDS. Yeah, shout out to the DDS crew, man. Love always. And shout out, yeah, they did a wicked um, little video that went viral as well through the lockdown, which was jokes. He says a revolution. Bam. Uh, <laughs> that's what he's going to be doing. Yeah, I, and I did say, like, a revolution is a full turn back to the same spot you started at. Are you sure you want that? Because we kind of get mixed up with that, innit? But I, re I checked on um, uh, Webster's on the 1828. You know, I had to take it back. You've got to go old school yeah. when you're checking these definitions now, man. Oh, right. Yeah, because they they give everything new mm. terms and meanings. And, you, you know, you think that that's the real thing they're saying when actually they're uh, giving you that. Yeah, yeah. so you got to look yeah. at all the... Yeah. And so, but it does actually say that a revolution was also, that, um, you know, overturning... Like a government or yeah, but um yeah, that's the thing is like who's doing it though, you know? We've always got to be wary of who seems to be the savior. Yeah, like, that's the scary part. But true indeed. Um, other world life form says by ending the monarchy and stop the heavy train. <sighs> People are on the same wavelength, man. It kind of, yeah. you know, we understand that there is a, there's a weird thing going on here where we are uh, kind of governed by people that we didn't vote for or nominate or mm. we never asked for this. But you're just kind of born into it and you just have to and go And it kind of happens. You just get four days off and you, you're you meant to be sat, sat on the street like that. Yeah, yeah. Just, you just go along with it, like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. what are we going to do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, some a pageant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's get these horses out and troop them around. Yeah. 
Yeah. Shout out to Bronson Ellie. It says a few dabs and some blunts, if I'm honest. Did you find the, uh, Couldn't care the lineup, less. Dan, for the music? I'm just looking. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, what, what? Is it possible <laughs> that we might find out who's performing? Fatboy cool Slim. All right, let's take some guess, guesses, yeah. yeah? Yes, let's have some guesses in the in the chat as well. Um, Fatboy Slim. Uh, what's it called? The uh, Saturday lineup. Well, Alicia. It's going to be Alicia. All oh, right, yeah. It's going to be quite. Michael Bublé. Yeah. Oh, is it Michael Bublé? Duran Duran. Oh, uh, uh, Blade says in, it's uh, fifteen pound a month. Oh. Zoom. All right. Okay. Okay, fifteen pound a month. Zoom. The, yeah, they only introduced that on the second of May. That's why I didn't know. That's why it threw me. Ah. All right. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't done a one on one. It's the one to one they got rid of, so they made it the forty minutes. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that. We'll get that sorted, man. We'll get on the Zoom flex. Yeah, so you know I mean? it's only yeah, only did yeah. It last month, so that's so that's why it did what it did. So forty minutes was always what you got with it, even if there was a hundred people on the call. But one on ones were always free. Ah, uh, okay. So what? But now it's just forty what minutes all the way. What is, I don't know, because yeah. Yeah, well, you know, when it, things get popular, that's what they do. They yeah, just make it seem like. And then you you kind of just go along with it. Yeah, you kind of go along with it. It's thing, the same yeah. thing, yeah. Ray, right, 1499, that's the same as two Netflix. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know that we're, yeah. we're allowed to like, oh, fuck you then, man. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even notice it's coming out of your same account or anything. You're just like, what was that? Oh, yeah. Brian yeah. May is performing God oh. Save the Queen on the palace roof again. Okay. He hasn't come down. Yeah, He's basically, been up there all yeah. this time. Yeah. He's doing it again. Yeah. 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 The content will also feature Alicia Keys. Oh, Nile Rogers, that's uh, wow. That's a weird one. Andrea Bocelli, Sir Rod Stewart, Duran Duran. <laughs> See, I said <laughs> that's, that's, that's a that, great guess. That's yeah. uh, rubbing it in. That was uh, Princess Diana's favorite band. So yeah. mm. she's obviously just like, nah, my favorite band now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> so yeah, probably be an O to um, Princess Diana. You reckon? Yeah. yeah. George Ezra. And James Bond composer Hans, Hans Zimmer. Zimmer. That's wow. the wrong introduction to. Ja He's not. The, that's the wrong introduction to Hans Zimmer. I could give you another twenty, twenty, true, yeah. twenty yeah, films he would have done instead of James Bond. Batman composer. Yeah, Gladiator composer. Dune composer. James Bond composer doesn't sound right. I suppose because James, nah, James Bond is Her Majesty's Secret yeah. Service. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's true. The link. Yeah, yeah. That's going back to the twenty twelve Olympic opening yeah. ceremony. Yeah, yeah. 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 you got to yeah. wake up. You know, they, yeah, you got to wake up. Like, and yeah. see the. You know, for what it really is. Yeah, they can't put old. June on there. Yeah, my five, yeah, my six. As we know, June, June is what? Three, what was that graph earlier? 300 years in the future, June. Yeah, that wouldn't have worked. Yeah, 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 yeah. So as Sir Elton John will make a pre-recorded appearance while Diana Ross will close the show. Her first UK live performance 15 years. Wow. Diana Ross. Diana yeah, Ross. That's a weird one, isn't it? Not Shirley Bassey. Weird one. No, the real, the real Lady Diana is turning up. Wow. <laughs> Uh, Let me stay out of this. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. There's an ode going on. Bam, we found it. All right, case closed. There's a new conspiracy, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> uh, oh, there's other yeah, names. Get there. on they're, that, they're, man. Put, Start a YouTube the younger channel. Guys. They've, huh? put, they've put the younger people at the end there, look. Younger? Craig, what, Craig David? Oh, Craig, well, you know. It's down, <laughs> down with the kids. Oh, Elbow. Right? Oh, I mean, wow, yeah. Craig David is going to perform. Ella Air, Mabel, Mabel, Elbow, Mimi Webb, Celeste, Celeste. Jack Jones, Sigala, and Eurovision star Sean Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> Just to wow. throw a spanner in the, the way. Special appearances. <laughs> <laughs> Just a wild card. Get Sean Ryder along. Outside the world of music. The, be... David Attenborough. So, what do these people yeah. do when they appear? Uh, no, David it's... Attenborough is going to going to um, come out with a chimp. <laughs> uh, David Beckham's going to kick a football. Right. He's going to bend it. <laughs> Ready Khan is going to hit a tennis ball then. Yeah. <laughs> He's come on and <laughs> just serve a tennis ball. Who's uh, that? Emma Raducanu. Yeah. They got tennis. a <laughs> Is it like a oh, massive tennis? Tennis, yeah. She's going to come out. Of, um, serve a, <laughs> yeah, like it's a serve, ball. serve a ball. Thank you, Queen. Perhaps. Yeah. Thank you for your queen. service. Should we go to the Queen? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Stephen Fry. I don't know. I don't want to say what he's going to come out and do. Yeah, you got to caref be careful what you say, what he's going to come out and do, D. Yeah. I mean, it's 2022, <laughs> Definitely D. not going to be jokes. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, Dame Julie Andrews, The Hills, probably. The Hills, oh, yes. She might do The Hills Are Alive or. Or Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins, oh, yeah, Mary she's, got, she's got a couple in the bag. Right, she's still going, yeah? Yeah. I don't, she, I, I've never heard her sing in, in the later years. Uh, all these people are knighted, isn't it? Nah. Isn't he Sir David Beckham? He's not. I thought he was, yeah. Is he? I thought he was something. That something nah, but they've only put Sir uh, David that in yeah, bra. Yeah, that's true. Bra. Um, Royal Ballet, Paralympian swimmer, Eddie Simmons, Hamilton creator. Lin Manuel oh, Miranda. Yeah. The cast of five West End musicals. Oh, they don't want to get them mixed up, do they? Like, <laughs> what, <laughs> they, Hamilton? They just go and... to Hamilton and then, <laughs> then the other ones all just, they all come on at the same oh, time wow. and then forget Look, what diversity, they're doing. Diversity of performing yeah. as well. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, Going to have a little street dance going on in there. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. bam. Well, yeah, Platinum get, party, man. And wonder. The... If they get the West End musicals mixed up in that as well, then there's all going to be some chaos on the stage. <laughs> 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 yeah. Floor managers on it. <laughs> Which musical are you from again? Uh, we can't remember. Just all go on at the same time. Uh, from, uh, the mix up Hamilton and Lion King. Yeah. yeah. Like, really awkward. Yeah. Macbeth up in there. <laughs> Right, Sam Bad said he's going to see Macbeth in it. Yeah. And the cast like, oh, the... shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's mad, man. That's mad. The Lion King and Cinderella are all over the place. We haven't found them. <laughs> the Queen will not attend the event herself. Oh. Although she is expected to be watching on television <coughs> from Windsor Castle. Later. Wow. Imagine that. Catch you up. all like She's come on, on you're putting iPod. on all of that <laughs> you're putting all that pee into your platinum party wow <clears throat> but you ain't gonna be there you're just gonna, gonna go. yeah i was just watching oh no because she had rona in it she was rona up yeah she was rona up so she's probably recovering yeah she's <clears throat> probably isolating yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> that's what yeah, it is yeah, for real. yeah probably yeah, she's yeah, probably yeah. got to take some time out but, allow it. but is Prince. there going to be a camera on her watching it on tv just to prove it <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Goggle box. They should do yeah. a goggle, goggle box. box royal edi- <laughs> goggle box. Goggle goggle box. Royal edition. <laughs> royal edition. <laughs> See how that is. It's just her, just for ages, like quiet. I'm coming out. <laughs> I the world to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to do goggle box, boy. They uh, should, though. Yeah, they should do a royal goggle box. That's brilliant. They should have her and then Meghan Markle together. <laughs> Two different rooms. Twerking. Yeah. We could have her just slagging everything off yeah. and the Queen going how much she liked it all. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone would like to watch that. That'd, that'd be brilliant. Yeah. That'd be a brilliant goggle box. That'd yeah. be hilarious, right? Goggle yeah. box, you know. <laughs> Meghan Markle with Jesus. <laughs> Yo. Meghan uh, Markle and Prince Harry. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be a great And the Queen on her own. What's the youth's name? The baby's name is... Uh, Arch- uh, Arch- Archie. Yeah, Archie. Mm. Archie yeah. in the background, mate. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to um, Rob Darkhalf. He says what he'd do to celebrate Her Royal Highness's Platinum Jubilee is make a beat with the God Save the Queen music and pop a freestyle on it. <laughs> That's nice. it. Fane Supreme says a guillotine. <laughs> no dots, no nights, just a guillotine. <laughs> That's what would be the ideal way to celebrate. Oh, Shout out to Harry Greenstreet. He says, watching Crocodile Dundee. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. That's a good bank holiday film. It makes there, mate. Yeah, isn't it's it? That's a good bank holiday film, definitely. You could yeah. watch part two as well. Yeah. And just watch the reverse. reverse. Yeah. Is like, that all well, part two? Is, part yeah. two is just the same thing, but they but flip in, it. In New York. Yeah. No. Oh, they they start in New York and then flip to yeah, New, yeah. Uh, Australia. Going back to Australia, Going back mate. Going to Australia, yeah. where the first one was half and half as well. That's hilarious, man. That's a good one. Good bank holiday films. Yeah. Short Circuit. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> the Goonies. The Goonies, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Goonies yeah. is there. Lost Boys. Lost yeah. Boys. It's a bit yeah. like, yeah, you have to put that on later. Right? Yeah, that's a bit, that's after yeah, 10 o'clock. Bit, yeah, yeah, I guess so. That gets so, an yeah, intro yeah. from Alex, Alex Cox or something at 10 yeah. o'clock, you know. <laughs> yeah. That's a great one. Yeah, it's mad, boy. And bank holiday ones. Does that say there was further there's tickets for ten thousand in a ballot? Oh, never. Uh, did, it says, <laughs> did anyone hear about that? <laughs> ten thousand free tickets have already been allocated in a public ballot which wow. closed in March, yeah. What, so you get tickets to go to 
Yeah, well, they're giving them. They were obviously they were obviously balloted, so they didn't, no one. But what, what what what? Where did the tickets get you to? What, what was like? Was... They're, they're the live show. They yeah. must be. Where are they doing? Oh, it? Oh, like the live. Yeah, performance. where's the live, where's the venue? That's it. Is it outside the Buckingham Palace? Did they put it in Buckingham Palace on purpose so she couldn't not go? But she's going to Windsor Castle it is, anyway. It must be on the. It must be. Yeah, it must be Palace. because he's playing Buckingham Palace. Platinum party at the Palace. Palace. Yeah. So it'll be that they'll make the stage at that roundabout, right? Yeah. Platinum party. Oh, what, and his tickets yeah. to get into the Platinum Party? I think in that, yeah, that area around the tree. Yeah, they 10,000. But how do they stop them coming out of St. James's Park? Let's just fence it off. Rob, these are all, these are all questions yeah. you need to bring security <laughs> about. Yeah, you've got to you you do your own investigation know. there, brother. Ain't, <laughs> it's a different yeah, ain't That's a involved. sub-investigation. Yeah, man. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's Rob <laughs> investigates. <laughs> that's that's, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, um, that's another one where you send me off. You need to speak to MI5 right there. I'll report it back next week. <laughs> be the most boring half hour you've Go ever had on the show. <laughs> yeah. So what I found out was can... <laughs> shout to OMG. It's green. He says, <coughs> "Set her in stone." <laughs> mm. Very polite. <coughs> shout to other world life Coke. forms. Oh no, he sent it, he was meant to say gravy train. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shout out to Versatile DJ says abolishing the monarchy. See a lot of people, you know, they're on a particular wavelength for just like getting rid of this shit. Yeah. We've had enough. Um for instance, old Zedong. Old Zedong. He says guillotine. <coughs> That's all he said. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. D4 SA, what's that? D4 WSA Graham says, I heard they want our DNA, so everyone send them a mystery box of saliva, feces, and urine. This is a question <laughs> mark here. They'll love it probably. Um, Killer Tape says, Off with their heads. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And then um, uh, uh, LFG says, dress up as a lizard and eat a corgi. What the <laughs> hell, man? You, you lot are twisted out there, boy. Yeah, but basically, yeah, it's, it's very random. Yeah. It's very, you know, I don't blame people for feeling that way, but yeah. It's, well, it's opened twisted. up a debate, hasn't it, again? No, it dresses as a lizard and eating a corgi. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty random. <laughs> I guess the lizard, you know, there's a lizard element there. That I suppose he's being polite by yeah. eating a corgi. Um, Ian Pilcher says, um, <laughs> abdication. That's it. <laughs> Uh, Dean Thomas says arresting her non son. Hmm. I will add allegedly on there as um, the views of this show. You know yeah, all that stuff you're meant to say. I don't even know exactly, but you know you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. So I don't know about all that, but yeah. Mike Quayle says send her to the tower. It'll be a novelty. <coughs> S Calibre. Have you read Twitter ones? No. Oh. They could return all the stolen goods back to the countries they robbed. That was S Calibre. <laughs> Mr. Penn moved the homeless into all her estates and properties. Oh, yeah. And Padmatic Unify Island. Mm. He might be. I mean. Wouldn't unify an island with royalty? Wouldn't that mean invading Southern Ireland? So he's, All right. Sounds like he's a unionist. I don't know. Probably isn't. Probably just jumped allegedly. to the wrong conclusion there. Yeah, you have to say allegedly there, just like <laughs> yeah. just in case. Just in case. Allegedly, got that wrong. allegedly he's a unionist. <laughs> allegedly, um, yeah, <laughs> unionist. Um, Kenny West says volunteering at a food bank to give back to the people. Oh, give that give back to the people what they've taken. Oh, give back to the people what they've taken. taken. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Mm -hmm. And Yamor is saying, let the ravens peck out her eyes while she's still alive. Wow. Wow. <laughs> mm. It's pretty dark. Yeah. 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 Mm. The ravens it's at the Tower of people. London. That would be, I suppose. I mean, in some cultures, that would be um, a form of a ritual. So I guess, you know, that is a sort of celebration, isn't it? Yeah. Ritual is a celebration, so. Yeah. Shout well, out to you is, more. For... It is meant to be a celebration in a way, isn't it? But you know what Jubilee actually is? Do you, do you know where that comes from, Jubilee? Break it down, D. So, um... Uh, In-house Mason. The ju <laughs> <laughs> well, because it's sort of like Jubellum, the... Mm. The, there's a, there's a the free the free people who kill Hiram Abiff mm. are called Jubello Jubellum and Jubella or something are they? I mean it's pretty similar to Jubilee and it? it's three people mm. all with a similar name to the name Jubilee so they're the people who all kill Hiram Abiff with the three different types of killing what they mm. do stab him hang him and drown him or something i don't know the mason the guy who is the oh is the, the right mason yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay Abiff. yeah the master mason yeah um but yeah jubilee is a i do believe it's mm -hmm. uh <laughs> <laughs> um it's from mesopotamia or somewhere i think the mm. the tradition of jubilee and it was that every 50 maybe 50 years or seven years i can't remember it's one of the two that you forgive all debt right so that's what the original jubilee oh, was wow. is that they broke all the tablets that was because they used to write debts on clay tablets mm. and jubilee was the time when they just went yeah okay it's all cancelled out so that was how they sort of dealt with instead of having like interest with you know compounded interest on things where money grows and grows and grows they mm. was just every seven years they just like right just get rid of all the debts mm. and start again wow yeah that's deep so look at us hopefully now. we'll be getting some debt cancellation yeah uh, well, isn't that what isn't that what the um chancellor did by giving everyone 500 pounds for no oh, reason oh that we got who Maybe got five hundred pounds. Oh, well, he was going to give every household five hundred pounds, was wasn't he? To ease the, to um... ease the, so you don't put the gas on. Ah, oh. there you go. Perhaps what five hundred pounds so you don't put the gas on? Well, no, like to say, to save yourself for... money to pay for your own heating and stuff. Come October and Christmas. What? So, so the winter or whatever, whenever. So because the money's going up, because the um, price is going up, he's going like... to subsidise it a little bit. Take the take the edge off. Is it to every household apparently so yeah a bit like the old money they rolled out for covid right so yeah look the original jubilee was a year of emancipation of slaves and restoration of land to be celebrated every 50 years it was proclaimed by the sounding of a ram's horn on the day of atonement wow. oh ram's horn the ram's horn what's, mm, it's aries yeah what's the rams that's a that's a hebrew mm. thing, the ram's horn yeah the shofar, it's, the shofar. it's called yeah. the shif, the shofar. That's there, yeah, the shofar. Mm. That's yeah. where like the name Shafir comes from. Mm. Yeah, that means right. ram's horn shofar. that they blow for, for the mm. ceremony. <coughs> yeah, like Ari Shafir. Mm. Mm. Uh, for the word was altered in Latin to shout with joy, jubilant, jubilant. Mm. Mm. Jubilant. Season of rejoicing. So the Romans always get on, get the language, don't they? Well, they own it, man. Yeah, uh, the Romans, language, they're, they're changing it. They made it, man. Yeah. So yeah, let's hope it is a jubilee. This year we get mm. restoration of lands. That's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Um, emancipation of slavery. So we should yeah. be out of uh, invisible chains. Yeah. yeah, like free debt slavery. We should be free, not in freedom. Yeah, right. You know what I mean, but uh, we'll wait and see. Then what day? What day is that supposed to happen? Get ready. <laughs> I thought it was just celebrating the jubilee, but now I understand that like, there's a whole different ball game involved. Yeah, I'm definitely popping off, but bottles. <laughs> <laughs> freedom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, anyway, we'll see. What are you going to be doing? 
well, I'm going to be waiting another like 365 days or yeah. at least. What? This is like the 69th year. This ain't the 70th year. So this ain't the Jubilee yet. This ain't no Platinum Jubilee. Say you know? what? This ain't no Platinum <laughs> Jubilee. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If you don't believe me. Has anyone else noticed that? Please. Look it up, bitches and bitches. You ain't going to be celebrating anything until next year. If you know what's right for you. Next year, you're going to be looking for <laughs> a tractor. <laughs> yeah, man. Why some wood. You say that? You're going to build yourself a hut. You know what I mean? You got some land. Imagine that, though, approach man. Approach the land. So I think you... I want to investigate that next. Where, if you could, if you were offered land, where where would be the ideal place for you? You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Where you could have your own land. In the whole of the country? The world. Oh, the world? Mm. Anywhere in the world. Peru. For real, Peru. Wow. Where about? I'm, oh, no, I'm just, I'm, yeah, throwing, I'm sticking a pin in there. I'm sticking a pin in there. <laughs> but I kind of like <laughs> the idea of South America and Peru. Yeah. Paddington's place. Yeah, where's Wait. the most fertile land? Yeah, but that's what I wonder. Mm. You must get a lot of rain and a lot of green heat. For... Yeah, well, yeah, South America, for real. Mm. Growth Costa Rica. and abundance, isn't it? Yeah, Costa Rica and Argentina's mm. grows a lot. It's great Yeah, weather. we'll investigate that next, man. Yeah, that'll be a good one. Yeah. Yeah. As far as so I'm aware. Why is that though? Why? Well, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, there you go. On the, the Queen's, Queen's favourite newspaper. Yeah, on the day, look at that. Yeah, for real. <laughs> the Queen's, the Queen's celebrated that no, coronation day newspaper. in 1953. Wow. So it's 69 years. That's 69 years. So I ain't going to be celebrating this year. Because something weird is going on. What's go what do you reckon it is? Why? Why is it it's 69 years? So if you're yeah. celebrating the 70th year, then you just can't do maths. You got it twisted. It says yeah. in big letters, the coronation in June 1953. Yeah. yeah, let me bring it up. There were street parties across the country. We're in 2022. Let me bring it 53. up. 53. 2022. Nin 1953. Sounds like there's one digit missing. Yeah. Before it. Can anyone 70. explain it? Why, that is why you're Somebody, celebrating please. next year. Common sense is you got to yeah, someone's got to someone's someone's gotta gotta have an answer to this. Yeah, yeah, because, uh, you know, there's, I, I'm there's not a, getting jerked into this. I was testing you that out. Is it because See it's just a rotten number? <laughs> <laughs> it just looks See wrong if you on all the flags. Point. Yeah, you couldn't put a 69 party. <laughs> yeah, you, you couldn't put a 69 yeah. party. <laughs> You're all invited. 69 party. Party. You're cordially invited to the Queen's the 69 only. party. <laughs> <laughs> You're cordially invited. <laughs> Please bring some spare clothes. There's a reason. I reckon there's a reason, man. We've got to hit up Is uh, it some it's an of our number? numerologists. Nah, it's got to be some... Mm. Yeah. Got Something to, to do with 69, I reckon. Esoteric reason. Mm. Look, look at that, man. Telling me she don't know some shit that you might not never know nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> she knows some shit, boy. <laughs> yeah, there's... It doesn't say, even though they mention it, they just may mention it's a year early, but they don't say why. But it's colorized photos. It's Look at the jubilation. As long as they don't say anything, the then no one knows, no one gives a fuck. Could, is it too late to stop it? Like, go, wait, <laughs> hold on a minute. No, nah, man, bro. <laughs> they stopped the whole world. They stopped the whole world. As far as we know, we don't even really know if everywhere was locked down the way we was locked yeah. down, yeah. to be true. Do you know what I mean? There's certain places where they're just like, yeah, bro, we're going to work. They're, they're not even, th like, there's not... We're out of there. Yeah. You they know what I mean? This is like, a, like, like <coughs> in Speed, the film where they put the camera on and yeah. just, yeah. just show a blank scene every yeah. time. But you know, like <laughs> they managed to stop the rest of the world, and and so from time they could do that, they could pull this off. Yeah. Hey, how about we put Jubilee? To, yeah, but it's it's not seventy years yet. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Then people, yeah. Then, yeah. Then, then, we'll give them more Netflix movies. <laughs> they just pull the wool over their eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, have, we have done so far. They're enjoying the TV series, The Crowd. <laughs> yeah. Look, we'll put yeah, 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 The Crowd. Look, we'll put. How about this? We'll put Johnny Depp and <laughs> what's the name? 
And just uh, so what's 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 after Johnny Depp and Amber Heard? The Jubilee. <laughs> the Jubilee. Obviously. Ah, okay. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah brilliant. Yeah. yeah, perfect timing. Yeah. Uh, your more says it's before she dies, I reckon. But she is meant to already be a clone, if you believe that shit. <laughs> yeah, the clone shit, boy. Yeah. There's a lot of that talk. Yeah, definitely. I reckon they're going to use the 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 two pack uh, hologram, hologram thing for her. Oh yeah. And yeah. so when she comes out, they'll just have to quickly switch it from because I know what it's like. They'll probably use OBS, so they'll <laughs> <laughs> when it comes out, it'll be two pack, and then it'll turn into the queen. <laughs> I don't like the the yeah the the whole um, doppelganger, you know, like clone thing and all that. I don't know, man. Mm. Uh, it's hard to believe that that kind of thing. Do you ever believe happen. any of the le world leaders have used it? Or no, I, I think the most that it could have been. I, I don't know. Obviously, I don't know. So I'm just going off of what I think from what I see yeah. and what I perceive. But it, it seems like the most it could be is like they have a lookalike do things for them. Definitely. Yeah. 100%. Do you know what I mean? But I don't know about yeah. like them making clones and... No, you know, definitely. Like... I mean, it, I, I would presume it's for assassination attempts and rubbish like that, you know. But... Hmm. Oh yeah, attacks on your life. But no, look, paranoid and sick Vladimir Putin may already be using body doubles. doubles. He's he's Brilliant. got about nine people that look like him. <laughs> but the, when, I'd love to see yeah, the, I'd I love don't... to see the green room of the nine other Putins sitting around waiting to yeah, be yeah. <laughs> Just like they're <laughs> like, getting bro, tea you and wait, coffee. You, you're waiting to get <laughs> popped like, off. Like they've gone for a casting session. <laughs> <laughs> they're all waiting in one room. Looking at each other. <laughs> all right. uh, yo, you all look right. much more like him. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's weird. You don't look alike. <laughs> you look more like him than me. Like, yeah. I'm skiing. Yeah. I'm skiing. No, I'm, I'm skiing, bear. skiing. I'm bear. <laughs> I'm bear, <laughs> bear wrestling. I'm one of I'm, you. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm public event viewing. Yeah. <laughs> Putin. Ah. Oh. Yeah. But yeah. Like I'm slightly pissed off, Putin. Please don't <laughs> talk to me. Because... Uh, King Chico says Saddam Hussein had loads of clones. Yeah, that's true. He did as well. Yeah. Yeah. Another one. Is that proven? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, yeah. When you're up high like that, and you obviously you got you got haters left, right, and center. Yeah, you're gonna have to pull that off, man. Yeah, but um, big time. So okay, oh. so the clones are there. So this is what I don't get about the clone thing as well. Is if the clones are there, if they're in control, right? Because the same people say this that they're in control of this shit. Mm. Like yeah. everything's like a stage you know like everything stage like whatever you're watching on tv so if that's the case then why would they bother with clones and that if they if they don't even have to be worried about security because yeah do you know what i mean mm. then why what's the whole point of a clone is it because they're worried about real people turning up right. and popping off or whatever or like yeah but it does get a bit so. they get a bit carried away with everything you know oh muhammad ali is really so and so and you know, uh, like shit. Oh yeah, like yeah. all that sort yeah. of stuff. Yeah, um, Jimi Hendrix is Morgan Freeman. Have you seen that one? Jesus, nah, <laughs> I ain't that. Like... My God, it's is funny that... oh, when you because when you the, the face, like you know, when I'm looking, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to picture the faces, and I'm like, oh, I can kind of see what you mean, but then I'm probably gonna look at them and go, ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, trying too hard. That's reaching. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, it's not, totally. it's not racist. Yeah, yeah it's reaching, <laughs> boy. <laughs> People go for it all, man. Uh, they go for it all. Uh, you know, who knows, man, but I, I just find it weird Jim that... Jim Morrison, who is Jim Morrison? They would, yeah, I find it weird that they do all that. Um, Jim Morrison is... Uh, didn't Jim Morrison uh, say... Um, didn't he say if you um, control... If you own the media, you control the mind or something like that. Jim Morrison. Glenn Beck. Was Did Glenn he? Back? I think it was him, man. <laughs> Jim Morrison. Blade says Robbie Williams. Robbie Williams, Robbie Williams, Robbie Williams is a Williams clone. Is he, he is a clone or he's got clones. Oh, uh, do you remember, Rob, did you did you watch the um, the covers band thing? Was we going through them together? Yes, yeah, we were, yeah. 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 There's a Robbie Williams one. He's really good. Yeah. Um, you know where people have, like, look-alike bands and acts like lady gaga or whatever yeah. It's like oh, yeah, a, yeah but they're always like slightly different you know not like quite yeah yeah so Are i went we looking for a thing once of just watching loads of them on youtube there's loads out there 
we were watching it for this sort okay. of Elvis research, weren't we? Yeah. At one point. Yeah. I think we'd gone off on a tangent of an Elvis research. But there's a Robbie Williams one. <laughs> who's, he, he thinks he's Robbie Williams. <laughs> oh, like he proper thinks yeah. he's Robbie Williams, isn't it? Yeah. He's got photos of him with Robbie Williams, stuff like that. There's like, um, yeah, because you've got them Michael Jackson dudes. There's like the ones that do the... Well, Michael Jackson, we talked about him before, didn't we? So. Clones, well? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. what is it that the switch came when... He's Dave, isn't he? He's the, when, he's, when, he, when he got burnt, <laughs> yeah, Dave, he becomes it. Dave and, and someone else takes over as Michael Jackson. And he doesn't sing live anymore. Yeah, just start to focus on the dancing. Right. And he becomes Much better dancer like than dancing, yeah. There's the Paul McCartney one. Paul McCartney. He had, yeah, he had a, a twin few, brother. few doubles, they reckon now. Oh, when you, oh there's a few. Yeah, yeah. But also, they, the, the rest of the Beatles had body doubles. So all the Beatles had body doubles. <laughs> Even before Paul McCartney died, they all just had body doubles. For the same reason, well, you've got to be a you got to be in two places at once. Sometimes, if you're the Beatles, and you've got to yeah. be able to get on a flight somewhere, look good, but also get back quickly and look good again. Especially if you're working for MI5, you know, you've got to be. Is that what they're saying? Oh, they're definitely, working definitely, for MI5. Yeah. Definitely, they're, they're a psyop, aren't they? The Beatles is a psyop. The whole mm. thing in the Beatles. Oh, it's is Paul, it? Paul well, it's like the first, the first, no, the second time you've ever seen. A group that where girls are wetting themselves in front of them while they're watching them on stage mm. and they're all urinating so what's happening what are they putting in the sound what is it what are they playing back to them audiences that's making them their bodies react that way oh was it like that yeah why don't you get that anymore are you urinating yeah that's oh, what the bouncers used that. to say this the, after that the beatles had come off it was just like a smell of piss in the room. wow <laughs> Damn, I never heard about that, yeah. man. Jeez. So the only other time before that was Elvis. Obviously, Elvis girls used to do the similar sort of thing to Elvis. You'd see them sort of... Ah. So that whole screaming thing wasn't <laughs> like, oh, I'm excited, I'm so happy to see him. That was like some shit where they were like... I don't know. Ah, I'm pissed. I can't stand here. <laughs> Who knows? Ah, I'm pissed Who myself. knows? Yeah, that's part of the part of the psyop is that they were using them to put, you know, to, to, to sort of put sound out through over the PA that they could then test different sound weapons, different things on people to see whether they reacted to them. And they were trying to wow. evoke hysteria in people so they would, you know, I be able to use a sound one, weapon. To That's quit. deep, yeah. man. That's deep. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And who's, who's, who's at all their early concerts as the, op the compare for their shows? Now then, now then. Yeah. Wow. Jimmy Sabs. Yeah. Wow. This it's jubilee, connected, this jubilee just took a dark turn. <laughs> took a dark turn. Yeah, <laughs> especially <laughs> knowing that it's not even this yeah. fucking week this, either. Yeah, this is year sixty nine celebration. Yeah, well, yeah, but it's, it's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I've been <yeah. laughs> so I, I still urinate. <laughs> 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 Hope you do, man. Boy, if you did it, man, there'd be problems yeah. right there, well, bro. It could, it could have been a worse jubilee because all of those people could have been rolled out in this concert <laughs> if she'd been a bit younger. <laughs> like, if she, the jubilee coincided with the 80s, you'd love these people being rolled out as the yeah. entertainment. I'm surprised Paul McCartney's not there. Yeah, Paul McCartney, mm. yeah. But yeah. Paul McCartney, in the theory, is Paul McCartney meant to have died before John Lennon then? Yeah. 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 1967. Oh, that early? Yeah. Oh, shit. And, and his, I, and I, his I brother took early. over or something like that. Yeah, he's some got sort a twin of, brother. Well, they had a competition in America for a lookalike. Paul McCartney lookalike on telly. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Like an X Factor. Yeah, it's like a proper <laughs> competition. Of like, find the best Paul McCartney lookalike. What, back in the day? Yeah, like 66, 67, something like that. Wow. So obviously they tie that into it. That They picked a lookalike from that show sort of thing. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I, well, I read something where the guy was saying that he had a um, a twin brother, and they were like old pictures of them when they were really oh, yeah, like, yeah, they were yeah. kids. But then there's like one or two pictures where you see both of them in the same shot, and then one's got like you know a part in, and the other one hasn't really got it. Yeah. Was he call it a cowlick or something? Yeah, like cowlick. Yeah, cowlick. Yeah. yeah. Who's that? Um, Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney, McCartney yeah. Oh, his, his yeah, his brother was a photographer. Yeah. 
He has got a brother in it, yeah. Yes, he's yeah, a photographer. He, he got a brother, yeah. And they were saying that he, the brother took over. Um, but he, they're saying that there must have been times when they were switching before yeah. the, the big takeover. Yeah, yeah, that's testing yeah. It out, yeah. Yeah, that's what I've heard is that there was they had, they had body doubles even before he died. They were still using other people to play them. You know, cause the, there's all, the 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 main thing hinges on things like the earlobes. Is that the two different Paul McCartneys have got different earlobes, and there's mm. no way your earlobes change. Yeah. Life. they're the same earlobes from when you're little to when you grow, get old Except no they bigger. get bigger they get it? bigger but yeah. the, but there's two shape. types of earlobes same like shape. earlobes that hang down there's earlobes that are just joined you know mm. like that to your mm. head and don't hang down and so they've got two different ones yeah. oh, okay. so that, his teeth are different um he just he does look different definitely he looks like a different person and they completely change in 1967. They stopped playing live. So they say, we're never going to do another live show. So why would they say that? Oh, 1967? Yeah, they just announced that we're not doing any more live shows. Well, guess guess who reckons he told them not to do any more live shows ever ever again? Now they're now, now they're now <laughs> You serious? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. He said you should do what Elvis done and not perform live anymore. <laughs> wow. So um, so they stop performing live and they just record albums. So no one sees them. No one sees them in public for a few years, really. So I wonder if that... Uh, was that the same with Elvis then? Yeah, he, he only came back in like... 71? 16, 72? no. The 60, 68 special, is that? Oh, yeah. That's special. when he comes back live, yeah, and does a TV special and then... And then I think he comes back for Vegas later on. Yeah, the Vegas 70, one was something? 72, I think. Yeah. We did, yeah. Didn't they? yeah, did the Vegas um, residency. Yeah. But the one in the, the one in 68 one was... There's one it's in only a TV Honolulu, special, wasn't it? I think. Somewhere yeah. Like Hawaii or something. Yeah, I don't yeah. think it's like a proper tour or anything. No, it was, a, it was like a... Yeah, I thought it was a big stadium or something. Not yeah. a stadium, but a big... Yeah. Wow. That's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Cloned out, boy. Yeah. Cloned what out. kind of life is that? Oof. What who kind else, of life is that? Your, uh... Andy Warhol, was he cloned? No. I haven't seen one of them. I've uh, seen uh, Bill Hicks and Alex Jones. Oh, that's not... I don't know about all that, man. <laughs> Do you think there's something to that? These things, I don't know. <laughs> You've got no way of knowing. Nah, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, that. yeah, there's no way of knowing, but you could kind of look at the faces and be like, and it's like, uh, when I first saw Alex Jones in about 1995 or something, I, there was a TV show called The Secret Rulers of the World. And it was John Ronson, the journalist, and he went to loads of different, it was like six shows or something, six week shows. And he went to different conspiracy theorists every week and got mm. them to, you know, break down what they thought. And Alex Jones was on one of them. And I thought straight away, he really looks like Bill Hicks. Like a young Alex Jones. I was like, and because he, he talks to say, you know, they've got sort of similar mannerisms and they talk about the same sort of stuff. But Bill Hicks, towards the end of his career, was starting to talk about a lot more stuff like mm. Alex Jones does. He had a character that he was doing that was like a sort of right wing radio host that he was starting to do. He'd been commissioned for a show on Channel 4 that was meant to be like a sort of oh, yeah. radio host type thing. Yeah. Um, both friends or managed, managed by the same person, are they? Kevin. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I saw that, His yeah. name is, who yeah. was Bill Hicks' friend, but yeah. he's now Alex Jones' manager or something. Um, yeah, I guess <coughs> those no, sort of connections do, yeah. yeah. I, but yeah, yeah, I guess when you, but face to face, you know, when they do like a comparison picture, I'm like, ah, the nose ain't the same. No, I yeah. kind of see it, but and the face is rounder, and there's just bits where you're like, okay, I don't know if plastic surgery could make yeah. it look that good. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
But yeah, it's interesting how. I don't believe Alex Jones is 48 years old. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to believe, that. but he's he probably. He's older than that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He probably drank a lot, though. <laughs> this time, kind of mad. I mean, can't really follow them dudes too much, boy. They get carried away. <laughs> yeah, look, see, yeah. there's a comparison there. Yeah. It's kind of like, uh, I, I see what you're saying, but then I don't really see what you're saying. You know, it, it, it's slight, slight reach. Yeah. We're all reaching for something, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it could be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it isn't, but it doesn't need that. I'm not, I'm not uh, convinced. When I see the face to face comparison, I'm like, ah. <laughs> and then even they've just got a similar vibe about them. And, you know, to be fair, I mean, look at, all right, let's take it back to Puffy. See me on the Platinum Party vibe this week. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's take it back to Puffy, yeah? It's Biggie. Yeah, yeah, Biggie. After Biggie, who was it? It was Black Rob. Oh, or was it right, Shine? Yeah. Who was it? Shine or Black Rob? But, but you know, this is the. It's like he 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 picked like artists that sounded like Biggie, and it's similar right, to the manager. Yeah. He's probably like, oh, this guy reminds me of Bill Hicks. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point, as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's things where you're like, okay, yeah, but there, there yeah, are other reasons that he had a Bill Hicks shaped hole in his life that mm. he needed to fill. Fill, yeah. yeah. That's exactly what Puffy did, and look what happened. Yeah. Because Shine, I didn't really get. The shine thing, personally, I was just like, okay, he kind of sounds like Biggie, but he's not like he doesn't rap that great, like yeah. It's just like, huh? But, so but he you know. was he was only replacing one part. I mean, it's a pretty big hole to fill. Mm. Yeah, very big hole to fill. <laughs> he ain't lying there, boy. King Chico uh, said he's got a mate that does D&B and he says he wants to make people scared through his music, proper dark frequencies. Wow. Yeah, going back to the uh, sounds, uh, frequencies in the music. Yeah, he yeah. should go to an, like a abattoir and like just record. Yeah. yeah, record all the animals dying and that. Yeah. Like they squeal and, and then turn that into like... Probably, there probably is some sort of... Uh, Oh, B, D and B, that's like that. Mm. I reckon uh, B, uh, sorry, Blade, 0521, oh, yeah. official. I reckon Get the Queen to bust the freestyle to one of my Stiggy's tracks and she can't keep up with him. <laughs> Abolish the monarchy. <laughs> <laughs> Blade's joker, man. Uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, man, you got to do that, boy. What? Platinum Jubilee, baby. Can't believe it. <laughs> 69. 69. we got to get to the bottom of that as well, man. Yeah. Definitely. Um, but before you do, though, make sure you hit up Canisers UK. That's canisersuk.com for all your best bits in terms of CBDs. You can get yourself Belgian chocolate, dark chocolate, or you can get yourself milk chocolate. Either way, you can get sativa or indica. You can get yourself natural CBD balms which are sativa or indica, or you can get the full spectrum, which is what I've got, and it definitely helps, especially after the workouts, man. Mm. When you get them doms, when the doms kick in the next, like, you know what I mean, day, day and a half, bam, you're like, oh, yeah. Make sure you rub that on before, because you won't feel that. You can get an oil spray as well. Spray that under the tongue in the morning, you know what I mean, or whenever you want. Hold it there for a few minutes, bam, then you can swallow, oh, and you get that CBD goodness. Um, have a little it's very important that you do your own you know investigating when it comes to things um, that have been put forward to you because then that's the only way you really know for yourself like okay yeah I trust it so you should look up um, what um, CBD can help with in terms of ailments and whatnot. you can also get a full spectrum um, coconut oil paste as well as uh, full spectrum sprays. And don't forget, you can get them chocolate stirrers as well, man. For all your CBD goodness, Canisers 
uk.com and when you go to the checkout make sure you type in simna i've realized the simna because <laughs> you can silent k yeah silent k you know what i mean <laughs> i like it that's basically the acronym for something you might not never know nothing about and you can get yourself 20 percent off any order canisersuk.com mother lovers make sure you hit them up for all your cbd goodness you know what i mean very important man you look after yourselves we talk about you know keeping our body healthy it's up to us man we can't look outside for uh, you know what i mean help on the inside it starts with us and then we help others you know what i mean especially those trying to work out if um alex jones is really bill hicks <laughs> they're the people that need a lot no of help, help for them. Yeah. yeah 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 you're right about that but it's about that time mother lovers we want to give a shout out to everybody that was locked in we appreciate you shout out to homeboy sam man for coming through we definitely yeah, got to do that again that was wicked yeah. big up your more shout out to blade one love bruv shout out to king chico ibmc's yes big up to robbie love all the crew that were locked in richard o <laughs> black einstein tempo 187 that's a wicked name, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, all the crew that were locked in, man. We appreciate you, mother lovers. Shout out to Regontology. Shout out to DJ Lock. Right, you lot was going off in the chat. The Mass Detective UK. We got to get him on soon, D. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's got some knowledge. Uh, you know, uh, it'll piss a few people off, I reckon, but it'll be <laughs> good. Shout out to <laughs> Psychedelic Scientists. Big up, all the crew that were locked in, man. We appreciate you, mother lovers. Whether you were on the Twitch, on the YouTube, on the Twitter, the D Live, wherever else. You know what I mean? Make sure you like subscribe, hit the like button. Please share as well. Make sure you get uh, more people involved in this, man. There's some shit you might not never know nothing about. You know what I mean? Yeah. My co host, Dan DNA, special co host. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie in the building. That's what, yeah, Dan DNA. Robbie J. Hey. <laughs> Damn right. My name is Mice Diggy. There's some shit you might not never know nothing about. And guess what, mother lovers? We're out.